What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the streams. How are you guys doing? How is your day so far? Mr. McDucky, good to see you. Lego Tech, Dexic D, what's up? Flusig Aku, NGB, <laughs> let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Anna, good to see you. Dark Cookies, welcome back. Spruce, Alfie, Matthew Hall, what is going on? Ulrika, Gaming Wolf Boy. Excel, good to see you. Yo, Dark, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you for the re membership and for that four month uh, Space Station Admiral, by the way. Space Station Admiral, where is my black cape? I'm not quite on the dark side yet. Not quite. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dark. Really appreciate that. I see you saw the new emotes as well, by the way. And I think you got a rundown on the plan. Yo, Potato, how's it going? Travis, what's up? You're kind of okay. Well, I hope it gets better soon. Bobby, what's up, Colton? Yo, Turt, good to see you as well. You watched the entire VOD of the challenge streams? <laughs> I hope they were entertaining. They were definitely fun and interesting and uh, frustrating at times, but we got through it. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yo, Valerie, what's going on? So today, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, I got rid of my, uh, my pop filter. So normally I have a pop filter. But I wanted to get rid of it because I feel like this microphone benefits a lot better. I don't know if you guys maybe noticed or not, but like I feel like my voice... My voice might be coming through a little bit clearer today. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, they're looking good. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to be working on the uh, mobile crane truck, the Lego one. It's a Lego Technics build. Using them for some small tips on how to complete them. Right on, yeah. They might not be the best way to beat the challenges, but they were definitely beaten. <laughs> hey, Super Seasy, welcome back. Ultra Gaming, hello, hello. It sounds more natural. Yeah, I think it's better. Travis, sorry to hear that, man. Really sorry to hear that. I can't even imagine. I'm definitely a lot louder. Good! I want to be a lot louder! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play some scrap mechanic before I make a fool of myself So yeah, we're gonna be working on The crane Uh Oh Was I just doing it in the multiplayer Monday destruction Mars world Lego tracker. I think okay. I, I've opened up a few worlds apparently since then <laughs> Loud Mars boat. <laughs> You're screaming and lowering your voice so you aren't loud? Well, I did that on purpose, Dark. Very observant of you. <laughs> Dark cookies, that is. Don't want to confuse people in the chat. Seeing me makes your day better while well, I'm glad. If there's anything that is worthwhile watching these streams, it might be that. Auto landing rocket like the Falcon, but it wasn't working from a higher height, so that's because of the inconsistent physics or scrap mechanic. Uh, if you're doing something that's like auto landing like a rocket, you're gonna have to use mods. You're gonna definitely want to use mo mods for that. Yo, Wesley, what's going on? Saturn bow, yeah, just name any any planet and put the word bow at the end of it. <laughs> Man, I feel like my I gotta bring the desk up a little bit here. It's time to lift you guys up. You guys were a little too low. Got to bring you up. Second time seeing me live. Right on, Wesley. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Maybe there will be a third time. <laughs> I feel like I have so much room for activities here now that I don't have the pop filter. It feels so good. Yo, OG Lucas, good to see you. Welcome back. Plutibo. Any advice on becoming a YouTuber? I would say when it comes to becoming a YouTuber, you gotta follow your heart. You know, do what you love, so that you love what you do. You know what I'm saying? But which dark? 
I'm just moving my camera down a little bit here. I know you guys probably want more beard space, right? You probably want more... You want more beard in the camera, right? Can I give spoilers about next multiplayer Monday? I certainly can because I will be building. I was going to save this for a little bit later, but we can talk about it now, I suppose. I, uh... I'm going to be building, we're, go, we're doing a week-long build for Multiplayer Monday next week, which means I will be streaming the production of that build. So there will be some spoilers this week. Yo, Dialis, welcome back. Or, I, I can't, you have too many names in your name. <laughs> the no-pop filter makes the sound more crisp and nice. Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, I think this microphone benefits a lot better from it. Can we get only beard in the camera? <laughs> Definitely gonna keep coming back. <laughs> All right, so where were we? Sorry, let me, uh, I, I start talking to you guys and uh, it's very addictive hanging out with all the chat. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to leave you guys and go into the building mode here, you know? Uh, so where were we? We left off with this very interesting mechanism here. I'm just gonna turn the music down a little bit here. Maybe it's not too loud whoop, for you guys, but I'm gonna turn it down in my ears. Only the hat. <laughs> a week-long build? Yeah, Nathan. Well, Nathan, we've actually done it a couple times now. We've uh, taken the week to build. Obviously, you're, we are allowed to take the week to do the build, but, you know, you can if you want to do it in a couple hours, then you can if you want. But we just give each other the amount of time that we would need uh, to get it done. Uh, so here's something that we have to do. Now, this is really interesting. So, in case you weren't aware, we were using uh, this mechanism here to... We're going to use a uh, rack and pinion. A rack and pinion style crane extension boom arm. Yo, Anthony, good to see you. You're playing Scrap Mechanic and watching Scrap Mechanic. Well, that's Scrap Mechanic Inception. So I looked at a, a bunch of videos. I was watching a bunch of videos on this build, on the Lego build, the actual Lego build. I was checking out some of the videos on it and uh, trying to learn a little bit more about, you know, how all this works. And, uh... We are pretty close to it, you know, pretty close to it. Hero Brand, what's going on? I should try Space Engineers. So, Shrew2 gave us an amazing suggestion for this uh, gear system here. So why don't we just separate this very quickly? Because uh, this was kind of like a prototyping system right now, but uh, we will end up kind of refining the system and getting it better. Your computer broke? Yo, Glowy, it's been some time indeed. There we go. Okay, I couldn't hear anything in the game. Uh, so here's the idea. So these are... There's only one powered at the moment. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, so we could do it with only the one. We don't need both of these, so check this out. So we're going to put a bearing here, okay? And now, what we're going to do is offset that bearing by 45 degrees. Okay? Now, we're not going to use this bearing on this side anymore. What we're going to do is just put a block down here. And, oh, whoops, wrong bearing. There we go. That bearing is going to get offset 45 degrees. There we go. Why don't you just use pistons or bearings? I mean, why even play this game at all, right? Why am I even doing this? Why am I making this crane? That's a better question. Why am I even making this crane? Let alone using anything other than pistons or bearings, right? What's the meaning of life? Does Scrapman stream? I'm pretty sure you could figure that out. <laughs> Do I have a Steam Deck? No, I have no interest in getting the Steam Deck. Okay, so now we're gonna weld this back in place here. Uh, I think that's the spot we want to weld it to, right? 
Uh, no, it's not. I guess we're going right to the top. Any ideas for you in scrap mechanic? Wait, where am I welding this thing to? Or am I just off? Wait, was I not in the right spot there before? Is this not the right spot? What is not letting me build here? Oh, is it the... Uh, oh, okay, so that's right. Okay, so this is the other thing that we need for this, actually. That's right, I forgot about this. So, we need... Okay, so that's not connected. We need this to be mounted to a piston. I remember now because the uh, the the offset gear that we've created is going to um, it's going to get in the way of welding it. So yeah, we need to break this open here. Actually, we don't need to break all that open. We just need to really go down to here and get a piston going. Yo, Jay Lee, it's going good. Thank you for asking. What camera am I using? I just use the uh, Logitech C920. It's like the standard, uh, you know, it's the standard starter cam. <laughs> so this, where did I break that block? Was it right here? It was, wasn't it? So that means I'm gonna grab it from there. Whoops, that was not the right spot to grab it from. And put it there. Yo, Eli, how's it going? Oh, man. Okay, so, again. So, this gets connected to the engine. The bearing gets connected to the controller. We offset that by 45. The risk Yo, banana. I took with the festival was calculated, but damn moon bow is bad at math. COVID sucks. SBT is for everybody. I'm bad at math. <laughs> Yo, Dark, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Even though you're calling me out on my math. My math is not that bad. <laughs> but, Dark, I hope you feel better soon, man. And, uh, I mean, it's like you said, it was a risk that you take, but that's what we do every day in life, isn't it? We all take risks every day. Hey, Poke, good to see you. And now I feel like I can't hear the music at all. What's going on here? And, you know, banana, how's it going? Okay. So that's all there now. So what we need to do... What we have to do is move the piston up. So we don't need this anymore. So that's the beauty of all this now that we're doing here, right? Is we don't need to use uh, any type of time step to move it. Pretty bad math, but not that bad. <laughs> so the beauty of this system is we're going to be able to use a seat for this. So why don't we actually set up a quick little example here of how this is going to work with a seat and everything. It's going to be really cool. Very cool. And this is one of the reasons why we aren't using... Uh, it's one of the reasons why we're not using pistons or bearings is because it's really easy to set up this for like a custom length right so that goes there so that we can open up the uh, mechanism like so and now finally we should be able to weld this in place break it like so and now check this out vasu is that right it better be vasu if it's not then i'm gonna be uh pretty upset See, there we go. So now we can drop the piston down and it will lock right into it. And so the driver's seat is connected to this engine here. So that means we can now press the driver's seat. Check that out. Look at that. Look at how smooth it is. Beautiful. It was right. <laughs> St 
struggling with the crane, Max? Get out of here. <laughs> We're not struggling. There's no struggle. The struggle is real. Make the range longer. This is just prototyping. Don't worry. This is just prototyping to make sure the system will work. And I mean, I dare say it is going to work, isn't it? So one thing that would be nice, I guess we can't really get away from it, but like it is a pretty big crane system, but in the, I've looked at all the Lego builds and it is a substantial uh, size for a crane. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Yeah, I think it's Dork. <laughs> Life is a struggle. You didn't have power last night? Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna jinx it, but we haven't lost power in a while, and we, uh, we are notorious here in our area for losing power, so it's really nice. So I realized that we don't want this seat. Oh man, okay, wow, that's right. We don't want that seat. We need a proper driver's seat here. It will be ideal anyway for, uh, for using this crane, right? Reading's not my strength. <laughs> it's not dork. <laughs> so one thing I don't like about this is how wide we ended up making this. I think I preferred the uh, that canopy to be a little more narrowed like that. Uh, but we have to fit this whole thing in here. This whole seat's got to get in there somehow, right? So that means... How much space do we have here? I wish it would put, so you know how you can't build, like it shows it in red like this? I wish it would show it right here, like I know there's not enough room to build it, but it would be kind of nice to be able to place the object down, not place it down, but have it in red, like we have it in red here, right? Like it's showing it in red there, but just let me see that as well down here so I can get a better idea of, uh, of my size, you know? It'd be kind of nice. What about what swivel? The roof is sick. Hey, Godzilla, sorry about last time. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, so... Just pretend like it never happened, whatever it is. Yo, Orion, good to see you. But I don't know what you mean, what about the swivel? Like, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, what about the swivel? You're saying, what about the swivel, but what about it? <laughs> exactly, that's a good question. What about the swivel? So right now what I'm doing is, uh, I'm, I want to lengthen this a little bit here so we can fit the seat inside. Because it's going to be four wide, so we actually need this full width here. So you know what, I'm not even going to mess around with this. Um, I think we can put these he that there and it will hold it together. Moombo when no red. What do you mean, no red? What would you rather? Some green? Uh, okay, hold on. This is not very smart of me. We need to go on the outside here. Okay, let's just get rid of these. I'm trying to save these for my for the life of me, and it's such a waste of time. There's no point in saving those. Let's just get the seat in. So I was going to use that one, but I think we're going to go with the level 5 just to make sure we have full usage. And I think it's lighter. Where does my name come from? Yeah, but we're not going to have any problems with the swivel. So, because what I'm thinking... So, right now we have a, an electric engine, right? To turn left and right. Uh, we could potentially use steering as well. With the steering bearing, we could use it for that as well, but... Until then, though, I think I'd rather just kind of carry on like this. Yo, Scrap Kayla, good to see you. Trio Cloud, welcome back, guys. <laughs> what, save your work and shut off your PC during a thunderstorm? If I wasn't so darn addicted to being on a computer, I probably would do that. <laughs> you're just gonna... One day you're gonna find me burnt to a crisp, hand hands still on the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> So 
how do I want to do this? So that should be like that, first of all. A Lego box for the Mars supply ship. So how am I going to reach this here? I, hmm. I could, you know what, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just put like a little post here. Like this on either side, maybe. And what we can maybe do here, maybe we'll get away with this, maybe not. Is, okay, so I should, hmm. Maybe we could have a little bit of an overhang on the back here. We'll see. Plastic is such a nice block. It's not bad. I mean, it's probably like the best block to use when you're trying to, uh... When you're trying to like make wedges and curved pieces kind of match together, then it works, you know, but... Oh, yeah, I think we wanted just the, uh... Oh, wait, now we could technically just get rid of this, right? Because it's all connected. That's right. Look at that. I wonder if we just do this instead. I guess the overhang is not the nicest thing, but I realize now I think this is actually going to extend anyway. Because of the... I'll have to get my reference image up. I'm doing this without a reference right now. You are different than other YouTubers? How so? How so? Looks weird. Yeah, we're not going to use the overhang. Hey, Colton. Don't look. You didn't miss the stream ride on. Try to build a working drone. Yeah, I mean, you could do that, you know? There we go. That looks pretty decent. Uh, I guess we don't really need... Let me get my reference image up. <laughs> oh, okay, I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? This isn't that bad. I like that. That's not too bad. I can live with that. I mean, if a computer was never invented, I'm sure I, I, I would like to think I would have found other things to do with my life. Instead of sit there pondering why no one invented the computer. <laughs> Boy, sure wish some people turned a bunch of metal into the smartest thing ever. Hey, Lurtz. Do you think the crane's bearing will be strong enough to hold the crane arm? Morgan, I don't know. We're going to cross that bridge when we get to it, I think. <laughs> Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, and then we use pistons, right? Like the, uh, like the way it should go, I suppose. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I want this to be like that. Kind of looks like the flyer. It's kind of like a really long... Hmm, wait, can I... Wait, is that controller blocking the way right now? This controller... I think we could get rid of this controller and move it all up one block, but I mean, I guess that's not really going to get us there, is it? No, we need two blocks, technically, to get rid of the overhang. I do have this kind of space. Oh, what if we did this? Check this out. This is some next-level pro gaming right here. What if I did this? Right? And then we get rid of that. Could this work? Lego Technic Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, I'm, yeah, got to You got to take your time with the details. You know, it's the these are the things that people want to see. I mean, that's what I want to see anyway. So, if you don't want to see it, then I don't care. So the reason why I did that was because this is kind of getting too long as far as the cab goes. 
It should basically be like that. Kinda genius. Yo, LG, what's going on? Good to see you. Put a duck? Boy, if I had a dollar for every time someone asked me to put a duck on a build. So I'm kinda sad that this doesn't reach anymore. Oh, you know what we could do? Why don't we just do this instead? Why don't we just extend this to like 45, right? And then just lengthen the pipes on this a little bit. Like that. There we go, that works for me. Taking your time and being slow. Yes, because I there is such a great benefit to me working slowly. If I was working fast, it would be detrimental to me. Or not. I guess this whole thing is kind of just black on the top, and then, uh, and then we'll just do fully yellow on the bottom, maybe. Yeah. Hey, Diamond. Add a suspension mug. And hello, Poems. What's going on? Do I know how to code Lua? No, I only know C-sharp, actually. I don't know Lua. I never bothered with, uh, scrap mechanic modding or anything like that. Uh, let's make the, uh, mini pipe here just one longer. There we go. I can- I- I like that. There we go. We've settled on something good. Put a Moombo logo on it. Am I Wedge Gang or Brick Gang? Why don't you take a look at the emotes, Stroop? Why don't you have a look at the emotes and see for yourself? So I kind of want the, uh... I guess I kind of need this to be... Hmm. Oh, that won't fit there. Kind of want this to be all the way to the width now, though, you know? Do you even see, Sharp? <laughs> I'm going to assume there's some type of clever coding joke follow-up to that, but I don't know it. So I could just use these small pipes instead of going back to a big one. I kind of like having the big one up top, though. Oh, we could just uh, make this go down like what? Like maybe uh, five more degrees? Just something to make sure it fits like that. You know what? They don't even have to actually go underneath it, do they? What if we did it the other direction? Is that cool? It starts upward. Okay, see, that's the thing. It starts upward. Okay. You have worked in C-sharp and video game stuff? Hide a duck. It's nice having contact with the moonbow. Ah, this is kind of annoying that this doesn't quite fit the way I want it to. I might just have to stick with the uh, open... open sides, maybe. I might just keep it the way it was. A shuttle. Making a working car out of wood? Yeah, why not? Okay, that looks good there. I'm happy with that. So basically what happens next, so this is kind of like an interesting little shape here. Maybe what I'll do for this instead is, uh... Add some little bits of detail here, like this. And so what's gonna happen here... It only goes up to about this high, but this is pretty much like the weight. I might have to make this a little bit longer. 
How am I so good at building? I don't know, some people might argue that I'm not good at building. Like that. Ah, so... Uh, this is when a, a 2 by one wedge would be re or a curved piece would be really useful, but we don't have that, so we're just gonna use the duct piece, and it'll, it'll be good enough. Yo, Novak, good to see you! Where's my lift? What just happened to my lift? Did I ever play any of the Wolfenstein games? Uh, I played Wolfenstein when I was like, uh... Like 12 years old, I think. I remember playing Wolfenstein when I was like a kid, like a, pretty young. I must have been older than 12 probably, but... It was some of, it was one of the first shooters I ever played in my life. Hey Lars, how's it going? You lost that key? <laughs> and now I'm locked out. I don't have any Zape Kiss videos, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, I need to get a new image of this crane thing. Oh yeah, here you go. For all of you who wants to seize what we're doing. The classic ones. I think it was just the first one. Wolfenstein 3D, or whatever it was called. I think that's what it was, actually. Wolfenstein 3D. Lego crane truck. Make a duck as one of the drivers. Hey, Slimy! I'm not gonna go to images. I'll go to the... I like... The actual Lego website is, uh... Is pretty good for pictures. They have all sorts of different pictures. Sometimes they even have a rotatable 3D model. Okay, that's for rotating. I see. Hey, Damien. Looks like a brick rig crane. Yo, dark with it the ten bomb. It starts bob. with dark. All you know, it's so unreal. We watch you go away. Tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter as long as you join the dark side. <laughs> Yo, dark. Thank you so much for the ten dollar super chat. Really appreciate that. And you are right. I will be joining the dark side. I feel like uh, it's a, it's a slow process. You know, you don't just wake up in the morning and join the dark side. You know. A slow, insidious thing. It's actually a 2D game. Oh yeah, Doom and stuff. That stuff. Old school games were some of the most impressive ever. Absolutely insane. Yo, Cal Flood. Yo, Cal Flood. With the super chat. Yo, thank you so much, Cal. Really appreciate that. Much appreciated indeed. Nice outfit. And dark again. Thank you so much for that super chat. Wants me to become the next Sith Lord? Should I take that as a compliment? You know what I mean? If if you were in the Star Wars universe... And they were like, hey, we think you'd be really good on this dark side. I mean, it'd be kind of a compliment, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, Austin, good to see you. Whoops, that is not my picture. So that, technically, this here is black. It's not, uh, it's a... There's working parts and non-working parts on this, so... Put a duck as a hood ornament. It wouldn't be the first time a duck is used as a hood ornament in Scrap Mechanic. That's for sure. So what we're gonna do is, uh, two of these... I'm just gonna end up using normal wedges here. This is where the controls are for the actual Lego, like the the hands-on Lego functionality uh, exists here. Now we don't really need to worry about those things, but it is fun sometimes to add the Lego functionality as details in this kind of build, just to help kind of sell the fact that it's inspired by a Lego build, you know? Can we have a look around? A look around? Every time. Yo, Austin, with the 11 months, yo, welcome back. Thank you so much, Austin, for the re-membership. 
Much appreciated. Just like the moon, there is always a dark side. <laughs> you know what? I guess uh, it's just the way it is, right? It's the dark side of the moon. Hey, John, I'm really reminded as to why you were banned before. You know, I, I'm really getting reminded as to why you might have been banned at one point. Inside you, there are two moons. <laughs> You think it's one wedge too high? It's See, the thing is, it's not that it's too high. It's because I don't have a wedge that's eased off enough to make that gap. I can't do it. This goes to the same height as the cab. I'm looking at a picture right now. It goes pretty much to the same height. I've been adding emojis. Yeah, the uh, gifted memberships have really started uh, helping out with the emote situation, let me tell you. So I could use a warehouse wedge. You know, I could. But the thing is, it's just not... I hate that they put these, like, corner edge pieces here. So, like, even painting it yellow. Yeah. Use the steel support bracket. Yo, me here. Can you have a tour? There's not really much of a tour to have. It's one wedge down. So this is gonna be a... I might, I'll probably put the functioning handle there. I don't know if it's actually going to uh, move or not. You know, we I could make it move, but we'll see. But please stop adding me to look at my DMs in Discord, like why? Why are you doing that? Like, are you just wasting my time? Is that what you're doing? Like, why are you even DMing me on Discord right now? So I will do that. It's your birthday tomorrow. Can't wait for the one-year badge. Ooh. Get some hype ready for that. Try and make a rope. <clears throat> Use the base extension part. For what? Base extension part. Um, what I was going to use for the handle on the 16th of june blizzard will announce the next overwatch 2 beta better get access this time my friend kissing face <laughs> yo dark thank you for the super chat i will get it this time i can assure you i will make sure of it we're close like family dark thank you so much for the super chat and yeah i think uh, that's a good idea i think i will Okay, so this crane is basically the same thing, right? Can you please use steel support bracket? It's the perfect angle. Steel support bracket, but steel support bracket. Support. Oh, this thing. Ooh, that's a good idea. Maybe, maybe. I'm not against that. Yo, Brody. Your birthday is going to be on Friday the 13th. I was born on the 13th as well, Wesley. So every now and then, every now and then my birthday is uh, on a Friday the 13th. Oh yeah, this is the right call. So whenever someone is like, ooh, no, Friday the 13th is bad luck. I'm like, screw you. I was born on the 13th. Don't tell me my day is bad luck. Just join the Discord. Every now and then we are terrified of you. Perfect. That's, you know what, that's how I want it to be. We got, you guys got to make sure we all know who's boss here on the stream. Oh, 
Oh, looks like we got a badass here. Yeah, it looks way better. Is that an afternoon coffee? It's actually... So this is an iced coffee. From McDonald's, wouldn't you believe it? So we're gonna go one more here, I think. Let me get a l look at the back of this. I'm realizing now, I think... So this is where the weight is gonna be, and the weight goes all the way across to this side. So I think we need to duplicate what we're doing on this side all the way over here as well. I do kind of feel like we are overhanging a little bit here, aren't we? A little bit too much of an overhang, maybe. But I think we're just gonna live with that. Birthdays in three days, not looking forward to it. <laughs> what do I usually get from Starbucks? Uh, well, so it's actually pretty funny. So we have collected a decent amount of, uh... Starbucks gift cards and you can put them on like an app or whatever and then you have like a digital wallet With all your gift cards on it and we amassed like a hundred or a hundred even more maybe even I'm not too sure we got like a crazy amount of uh, Starbucks points and we were using them. We still have a quite a few actually It is expensive But usually what I would get is like uh, I've been getting the caramel macchiato Mind you, though, that stuff is so expensive, man. Oh, my God. Your your birthday's on November 4th? Okay, I will remember that. <laughs> Let me just mark my calendar. You joined the Discord and it forced you to a call? That doesn't sound right, Hummus. That sounds wrong. Okay, so that's gonna be that. So that goes up. So this would technically kind of be where the weight is. Let me get a better picture of the weight. There it is. This is much better. Okay, let's see here. Your sister gets the exact thing. Celebrate uh, being a year closer to death. Shame you can't trade them for, uh, for TH. Lego, what is TH? I don't know what that is. And yo, Kapil, good to see you. Welcome back. So I think these are supposed to just, like, it's so hard to tell if it's something that's, like, Lego because it's, like, it wants to be Lego, or if it's, like, Lego because... It it's a functioning piece, you know? It's really hard to tell sometimes if there's a- or like if it's supposed to add a realistic function to it, or is it supposed to add only aesthetic? So I think I'll use these here like this. And we'll do that. And then this, I suppose? Oh, Tim Hortons! Ah, I see. <laughs> I guess I've never considered... an acronym for it. Actually, no. I might just do the blocks from the inside up like this, maybe. This weight is going to be pretty important. Because we might actually need to use it as a weight as well. Another trip around the sun. Yeah, this is a wild ride we're on, isn't it? So there's all sorts of shapes here. <laughs> yeah, we got some shapes. Now, the thing is, this is supposed to be, like, curved in some way. Summer or winter and why? What about spring and fall? Why are you skipping over spring and fall? What did they ever do to you? <laughs> okay, well that was the only thing holding that up, apparently. Hey, Madman! And Eli, what's going on? <clears throat> Alright, see you later, Novak. Your little secret? I don't know. I can't- I, that's too much responsibility. What's your favorite season, then? Honestly... I really would vote for summer, personally, I think. Okay, this... Okay, you know what we're gonna do? This is just gonna go straight down like that. And we will paint it black. 
I think I like summer just because, like, it's really nice to be able to, like, tr go outside and not feel like you're going to die. <laughs> you like Lego Technic? Yeah, so Lego Technic and all this cool stuff, uh, unfortunately, didn't exist when I was a kid. Like, when I would have been, like, the right age for, uh, for this kind of stuff, you know? This stuff didn't exist. We only had the basic Lego. But Kinex. I don't know if you guys know Kinex at all. I think I liked Kinex more, personally. So I was thinking of doing some type of... Uh, I want these to be in here. Because the, there is some red and white... Obviously, we don't- we can't do red and white. We we can only do one or the other, it would seem. Imagine if you could do primary and secondary colors on certain blocks. Like this one, for example. It's so pricey. Yeah, apparently this build here is like a hundred dollars. For the, uh... For this specific set. Okay, so this whole thing is like a housing unit for the crane. Okay, that's good to know. You had Kinex and not Lego? Yeah, Kinex was awesome. I personally think Kinex were more fun. When I was growing up and playing with those kinds of toys, I really do believe that I enjoyed it more. Uh, let's reset this. Yeah, we're definitely hanging off of this by an extra... Well, I mean, one block is not so bad. I guess this is technically, like, two. We're hanging off by two blocks, which is not... Not what I wanted, but I think we're gonna roll with it. Hey, Mambo, good to see you, love you. Winter is wonderful. I mean, no, I don't have any... See, that's a, I don't have anything against winter. You can't start assuming. They're like, oh, Moonbow prefers summer. Well, that just means he hates everything else. <laughs> hey, Dark Beans. Lego is better because it tells you... Like, yeah, Martin, that's a good point, though. I mean, it, it really... It's two different... Uh, it's two different things, for sure, when it comes to... Uh, like you said, storytelling and stuff like that. So this is where the piston is going to be. This is where the piston is going to be. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I almost want... I like to do something like this, maybe. So that way I can just really have a central point here for the, um, the bearing that we're going to place down. This might be a little too high up, actually. Maybe not. So I'm thinking the piston system will go there. Lego Force's right angles connects all out freedom of angles. Well, I mean, they would give you a certain amount of angles anyway. It was always still broken up by, like, uh... A certain factor. Okay, so if this... I want this to overhang the same amount on this side as the other side there, I believe. And one thing I'm realizing for sure, without a doubt here, is um, we definitely want to uh, make this longer. I think uh, there's a couple things I need to do. I need to, I need to make this piece here longer, so that we can put the, uh, the legs down. And I need to make this a little bit longer as well, this gap here. So that we can move the crane, like, keep the crane where it is, but move these wheel systems, uh, further back. Because I'm imagining now that we see our full length here on the, um, the back where the weight is, uh, this is just sticking out way too far at this point. Why does it say I'm playing Space Engineers? Does it really say that? There's no way. I need to check now. How warm is it in the summer at my location? I mean, usually here, it's going to sit somewhere between... Uh, it's gonna... Oh, it's going to sit somewhere between... Wait, where's the, the whole page? It doesn't even say I'm playing any game right now. I don't know. But usually it's like 20 to 30 degrees. 
Somewhere in there. Hey, TJ. Sorry for the curse. Yo, Lil B, what's going on? Welcome back. So let's get rid of those engines, and let's just make this adjustment now before it's uh, too late here. So we're going to get rid of that. So let's see. First things first, let's move the cab forward on our truck here. So this is the only thing... Okay, yeah, this is definitely the only thing holding this all together here, isn't it? So what I need to do is just connect all this together. So that way we don't drop the whole thing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. These are connected together in a weird way there. Okay, no matter what... Is that gonna break that? Oh, no. It's just barely not gonna break that. Perfect. Okay. Very good. You melt by 17 degrees. I need to clip the description and scroll down. Oh, I did. Trust me. I did. I know how to use YouTube. 12 degrees in the summertime in Ireland. I have a feeling, though, I'm sure Ireland is a lot like where I live in Canada. Because here... It, uh... It's very foggy and rainy at times. There we go. Yeah, very foggy and rainy sometimes. Well, not sometimes, a lot of the time. It comes and goes, I guess. Uh, not that one. We want the large one. So we got rid of one. Right? And so now I think what I want to do is add another one. Maybe not a full length. Maybe we should just do... Um, a shorter one. Which is something that's going to make it long enough, right? Now, where was this connected? This is the center here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the center. So that means we want to connect here to there, right? Maybe I'm just cold-blooded. What would that? If you're cold-blooded, that means you would prefer the summertime. You would want the heat. If it was cold, then you would just die. For you, it's 37 degrees Celsius. That's pretty hot. That is pretty hot. So now we're just going to extend these here the way we want them, like so. Fahrenheit is for weirdos. Let's reconnect that. So this is good. So now we have room for the, uh, the support legs to come down there, which is really nice. So I guess we don't technically really need to move this wheel system back. I think the length of this truck is pretty good. This might be too, mu too much now, actually. Because I think the, uh... The support system is going to come off of here. So it's going to be like that, and then maybe, I guess, like... We'd have the turning parts, and then the actual support with something here like that. I guess we need to see what the turning is like. Oh, I don't have any anymore. <laughs> well, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> hey, George Ortman, good to see you. Welcome back. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, no, I have to reset all these angles again. We had the angles figured out, and I just remembered that we just, uh, we just broke all of those. <laughs> that sucks. We'll have to fix that. Any weather without mosquitoes is nice. Well, that's why spring and fall tend to be pretty decent, right? Yo, Adolf, good to see you. Welcome back. And Arnie Tani. Hello, hello. That's a nice wedge you got there. 
You got a longboard? Yo, John, I, uh, I've, I haven't longboarded in a while, but I used to longboard a lot, actually. I still have my longboard somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So maybe what we could do is just shorten this by one. It's kind of excessive at this point here. Spring is best. You had this Lego set? Yeah, this is a pretty good Lego set, actually. Uh, I'm not speaking out of first-hand experience, though. Just, just this here. <laughs> okay, that's better. And then, yeah, we're just gonna move this whole crane system forward a little bit here. Let me have a look at the picture. Where's my picture? There it is. Yeah, we're just gonna move it forward so that this is only overhanging by, like, one or two blocks. Oh, because I realize now, actually... Where's the back again? Yeah, we need to build up this kind of section here. Because we also have uh, support beams that come out the back. Interesting. Okay, so this is going to come out this way. And then we do essentially have like a rear bumper in a sense. But it seems like the support system comes out the back of it. I welded it one too high. Is that too high? Is that? Oh, I guess it is technically welding too tall, isn't it? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that is technically one too high, isn't it? So let's try this then. So I need to grab it from up here. Like that. There we go. That, that makes sense. Good call. Good call. Hello, Moonbow. Yo, Gamer Zadik! Thank you so much for the super chat, and hello to you! How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much. I see your normal chat message now. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the super chat. And Randonix, welcome back as well. Try, I try and say hi to as many people in the chat as I can. You guys know that, right? I try my darndest. <laughs> A stream on opposite day. I don't know if I can entrust my viewers to do something like that. <laughs> I don't know about that. No problemo. <laughs> yeah, we got some green usernames here. Hi to as many people as I can. <laughs> That's what I should start doing. Just every, like, ten minutes just go, Hey, everybody! And that's it. <laughs> so there's really nothing else here except for the wheels. You can trust the entire Bad Batch? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't like the sound of that at all. We're gonna have to fix the steering here. Could you build the Star Wars Millennium Falcon Lego set? Yo, Nathan! Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. And so could I build the Star Wars Millennium Falcon Lego set? Well, the thing is, so this is one of those things where it's like, there are certain Lego builds that um, don't really work the same. It's hard to explain, but like, so this, I mean, what's the best way I can put it? It's almost like the LEGO Millennium Falcon might as well just be the Millennium Falcon. You know what I mean? It's hard to, to pick up on certain LEGO traits of a thing when you're trying to build it in Scrap Mechanic. And so something like the, like, so, because sometimes people be like, hey, can you build uh, the LEGO Porsche? You know, and it's like, I mean, I could build a LEGO Porsche, but... What makes it more Lego than anything else, you know? It's a good question, though, Nathan. And, uh, it's something I might consider. Jado's cheating on me with chat? In Norway, there's no in the middle. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna overhang this much. There's not much I can do about that. 
I'm not upset by it. I mean, we could also just get rid of those as well for now, just to make it look a little more tight. The Warhammer 4000 Bonebreaker. That's that mech, right? My dream car. I've talked about this quite a bit. It's the Toyota MR2. 1987. So yeah, so technically... This overextends by two, and I think for consistency's sake, I would like it to overextend by the same amount on this side as well. You would never have space to build it? Is it that large? Is it one of those things where it's like, well, I guess we have a brand new dining room centerpiece. <laughs> or is it is it still too big for that? Hey, Jaden? One-to-one -one scale Death Star in Scrap Mechanic. Yeah, just get me the floor plans. Get me the old floor plans and we'll whip that up in no time. <laughs> you just got Trail Makers? Well, have fun. Enjoy the game. Some people make glass coffee tables to put it inside. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, that's not the right picture. I don't... There's no pictures of this thing from the other side. Why is every single picture from the same angle? What is going on? Okay, that looks good. So this means we're just going to go straight to this here, like that. Trying to make a literal moon? I am never... I'm telling you right now, I am never ever in my life going to make the Death Star. Okay? I'm never gonna do it. Like, you're literally being like, Hey, Moombo, do you want to make a giant sphere? <laughs> Nobody wants to make a giant sphere in Scrap Mechanic, okay? Nobody. And if you're out there making giant spheres in Scrap Mechanic, please, stop. Get some help. That's Man, there's a lot of working mechanisms on this thing that we are not going to be making, that are not going to work. Make a giant sphere and put it next to it. Yeah, Dark, get your rest, man. Oh my god. Get your rest for sure. That's no joke. Doctor's orders. Two in the center. Okay, I was like, why doesn't that work? And we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna use this curve piece all the way to the back here. Okay, this did not go f far out enough, apparently. Okay, yeah, it goes to the... Oh, wait, no, that did... Or was it? No, it wasn't, because we need to use a block here. Okay, there we go, that's right. Dr. Moonbow confirmed. <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever need a doctor's note or anything, just let me know. I'll forge one up real quick for you. I mean, uh... You know, legit way. Uh, I think we pretty much do the same thing on this side when it comes to the, uh, that curved piece there. I think we're pretty much doing the same thing, right? In the exact same spot. Like, this is all to match here. Right? So we know... It goes up to there. So this one, we might actually be able to get away with two of these, maybe? It's supposed to start kind of like at a height down here. Right? Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work at all, is it? We could do it like that, couldn't we? What, how do you, what do you guys think about that?
Yeah, I don't know about that. Internet's down. Yo, Quan fam, what did you miss? Uh, we're just working a little bit on the crane truck, you know? Just doing crane truck things. So this is where the crane is supposed to be. Technically, this is a bigger gap than it should ever have been. It's way... This is way too big of a gap here now. But it looks right. Like, it looks about right to me, doesn't it? So what I think we're gonna do is just move this forward now. This is gonna be a pain in the ass, but I think we're, we have no choice but to do this... Oh, wait, what if... No, never mind. We don't have to move the whole thing here, right? I'll just move the rotation point. Oh, yeah, that's all we need to really do. Look, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna do instead. Not remove the whole thing. That's gonna save a lot of time. Anyone coming to Inverness for the European Pipe Band Championships? You don't want to go to school, you need a doctor's note. <laughs> Make a physician's license. Yeah, I won't get in any trouble for doing something like that, right? 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 Austin posted the Death Star floor plans. So let me teach you guys about sarcasm. <laughs> so let's try and just like visualize moving this up here. Wait, well, we know that it was overhanging by, like, four, right? So if we go down to, like, somewhere around here... Okay, hold up. We need our lift first. Oh, well, we need our lift there. So we'll just jump on that. It's a one-eighth scale Lego supercar. Trust me, I, I am not surprised by anybody's suggestions in this game anymore. You cannot surprise me. Okay, we need even more height here to get up. Okay, there we go. So let's go there, and let's just see what it looks like. I'm gonna have the Empire after me. Be right back, okay, okay. So that just doesn't feel like it's moving it up forward enough, does it? I mean, we can always just weld it there and see, right? Ooh, that's actually really good. Okay, that's actually perfect there. I like that. Not bad, not bad. Everything is still together. Nothing's broken. Perfect. I'm glad I did that instead of move the whole system up instead. That would, that would have sucked. David Baguetta? Do I know who... <laughs> Do I know who David Baguetta is? I'll just fill this in, I suppose, right? I think is that that's supposed to be what I'm doing here, I think. I think. So we're gonna get rid of it like that. Yeah, I'm gonna just match that side no matter what, I think. The trick is to just make sure I add some height here. I already built the Back to the Future car. I have, yep. Yeah. This is getting way bigger than you thought. I mean, this is a large... This is quite a large uh, crane truck. It really is. One, like, the boom arm is massive on this thing, by the way. I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but, like... The- just the- the boom arm alone on this thing is huge. The middle part's so empty. This is actually what the Lego build looks like, too. It's pretty much exactly what the Lego thing looks like, so... So we'll just paint it up like this for now. So what are all the- what's all of this here? I think that's just extra block, is it? Okay, if that's just some extra blocks or whatever, we can just paint it black.
There we go. Upload this to the workshop. Don't worry, Max. I will. Don't you worry. Add a level 3 engine to this to the thing. Yo, Mallard, good to see you. And yo, Salik, what is up? I had a pretty good weekend. I certainly did, actually. I really messed up my sleep schedule, though. <laughs> Yesterday, I last night, I had to catch up on my sleep a little bit. Was not feeling too hot. So this one technically has two different knobby things here. So these are like kind of like... In the real world, these would be used as controls for the, uh, for the various things on the Lego build. But for us, we're just going to put them there as placeholders. Uh, just to look good, you know? It's a good looking vehicle. Il Tempo Gigante. I don't I don't even know what that is. Hey Steven. I'm Jaden, I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, that's the technical term. <laughs> I don't think I actually like the screws on there though. I don't like them. They don't really color match very well with the metallic kind of nature of the whole thing, so... I think I need to change the steering system. Having the, like, the bars in between is not good, I don't think. It's not good. Because right now, on the back here anyway, it's getting in the way. And I don't like that. So we might have to get rid of the steering bars and just get more uh, detailed with it, you know? It's going to take some work to get the steering done again. Move so much. Defend your honor in wizard. Stream is buffering. Hopefully that is not a problem on my end. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how wide... Okay, you know what? Maybe what I'll do in this case, then, is we can offset this a little bit, maybe? Well, no, because it doesn't really need to offset that much, does it? I might just not have it overhang as much on this side, maybe. I think that's what I'm gonna... Well, no, I need it to be symmetrical, actually. It's one of those conundrums, you know? It's like, you have to kind of, like, choose two out of three kind of thing, you know? But well, let's see here. So if this was the piston system... I realize now that I need to have more than one piston. In the past, I have used these kind of systems before. And one piston is just not enough. It's really not enough. So what I think I'll do is make a plus sign, maybe. Like this. And then have the hinge on the front. So if we put a pipe here... Uh, we might need more of a gap though, don't we? I think we do. Something like that, maybe. Because these are just going to be loose bearings. Loose bearings hooked up to the crane arm system. Hey, Tinmar. we get along proper. <laughs> yeah, I used to skateboard a lot. Uh, longboarding was the evolution of that. You know, as I got older, I was like, man, I don't really want to, like... I wasn't... I never got really good at skateboarding. But I definitely, uh... Enjoyed it. So 
So we're gonna do five pistons because I want to be sure 100% certain That this piston system is going to work and it's actually kind of cool because we can put these here and Kind of make it look a little bit like a bushing or something, you know give it the shape of a piston at least somewhat You know try our best to make it look good Oh crap, is that not all one piece? What's going on there? Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I didn't connect the plus together or something. There we go. Okay, now they're all connected together. Man, there's a certain shape that the Lego has that I can't do. Do you know what a one wheel? Ah, uh, yeah, Rambo. I've heard. I've seen those one wheel things before, actually. The mono wheels or whatever. They look interesting, to say the least. So right now, what I want to do is build the base of the crane arm. Essentially, I want the base. You like the character model? You're talking about the, uh, <laughs> the challenge mode? So this would technically connect to that. So here, back here somewhere now, okay. I think, let's have a look at our weight here, or not the weight, sorry, the width here. So this is basically one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, so the crane arm itself, the crane, oh wow, yeah. The crane itself is going to be even width and not odd width, so there's some conflicting shapes here. For sure. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that means we need to widen this by one. Or is it more than one? Because this is five. Yeah, we do need to widen this by one to make it six. Otherwise, it's going to overhang on one side or the other, right? So what if we just easily... Can we just, like, clear it through like this, maybe? And just replace as we go? I'm going to have to move the whole thing no matter what, I guess, but... Kickflip the crane truck. <laughs> Do a kickflip! Have you guys ever seen that series on YouTube? Do a kickflip? They'll get like a pro skater to drive around a city with them. And they'll just, they'll, they'll find people skateboarding on the street. And they just yell at them to do a kickflip. It's pretty funny. Get it down to five? Do I like FNAF? Never played it. I guess this is good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We have plenty of room in the center here now. So we're gonna disconnect here. Like that. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Okay, there's no bearing there. Don't worry about how many likes there are. Not a big deal. Seriously, where are all the likes? <laughs> uh, whoops, this is supposed to be light gray. Right, okay, and then that goes up. There we go. So I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna. 
I'll just do a four square on the pistons now. Yeah, that's gonna be better. I think... I'm, I'm assuming, anyway, that we will get enough power from four pistons. I'm hoping, anyway. Uh, so we'll see. But that means we can... Uh, Get rid of this for now. I probably could just delete that whole thing, honestly, but that's okay. And then this, like so. And it's on the lift already. Perfect. Make sure all this is one. So yeah, now I can just do four pistons together like that. So I wonder... Ooh, this could look kind of cool, couldn't it? Um... If I put, um, these like this, right? That could be kind of interesting. Get the extended part of the crane to one block wide. Uh, I don't think I even want it to be one block wide, though. It needs to look more robust than that. He's trying to compete. I mean, people are allowed to watch whoever they want. <laughs> So that's going to rotate there. Okay, I see now. Yeah, there's some different issues here. So that's looking good. Diamond, stop copy-pasting the same message, all right? Please. I can't believe I have to say this. Like, every stream, people are constantly copy-pasting the same thing over and over again. Okay, so what I want here, I think, is... Um, I would like to have a few of these to kind of give it, like, a piston length, you know? I'm just gonna try it anyway, because if we do that... And then, if we put the pistons here, it might look kind of cool. Right? And then put another set here. Just to help hide the grouped pistons a little bit. There we go. And then now, I guess I just need a, a double wide system here instead. Which will be, uh, I guess just like a piston, or a, a pipe set like that. And I think, yeah, so then in this case here, we're just gonna go straight to bearings like that, right? It goes straight to those bearings there. So we have the free rotating bearings on both ends. That's not bad. So now we know six wide for this, right? Just to confirm again in my brain here, because we're gonna be able to enclose it like that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that is the maximum width that we will have to go is six wide, okay? Hack and overdrive the like button. <laughs> yeah, modded pistons are good for these kind of situations sometimes, but... That's okay. Uh, so where do we... I think I do want this to stay on the lift, come to think of it. Uh, but let's see here. Let's try and get up here. So this is going to end up being at least this height here, right? So if that's the case, then we're looking at... Uh, this being mounted at this height So we'll have a one block gap in between the piston system and the actual physical crane arm We know for a fact that it's gonna be six wide So it's gonna be one two three four five and then six correct. It's gonna go from there to there. Yeah, that's exactly what I want And then we want it to pivot from somewhere in the back here, maybe like a central spot like, maybe... I guess maybe we want it to rotate on a little bit farther back. The, the closer it is to this pivot system, the sharper the angle is going to be when you pick it up. 
Why does it say you selected Splatoon? I don't know. I didn't select the game at all. Maybe, uh... I tried to take a look at the stream earlier. Hold on, let me look at my dashboard. Maybe, uh... Maybe it's something I can change in my live dashboard here. Maybe I can? Maybe I can't? Where is it? It's, it doesn't have a spot for me to add the game? Oh no, it says Scrap Mechanic on my screen. I see the word Scrap Mechanic. A spud gun batting ram? I mean, at that point it's just a, a shooting weapon, isn't it? So I want it to rotate from the back here. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go from back here. So we know it's gonna be this height, right? So this is the height that we want. It's gonna go into here. You gotta go to sleep? No worries, it's okay. Yo, Dead Tool, how you doing? That goes the resume. <laughs> this is where we want it, right? The question is, where do I want it to pivot from? Do I want it to pivot from the bottom? It does say Splatoon. Yeah, I don't know. It says Scrap Mechanic for me. Screw resumes. <laughs> Yeah, Nicholas. Uh, apparently, that's what happened in the update. They increased the rate at which the vacuum pump works. This song is a banger. So we don't want it to pivot from too high. I guess we actually want it to pivot from the same height. No, we don't want it to pivot from that height. I think we want it to pivot from this height here, don't we? Maybe? Okay, hold on, actually. This... is gonna be the housing unit here. And that is gonna get connected directly to there, actually, right? So, this would be a bearing here as well. Right? Like that? Uh, whoops, so this gets connected here. This is all connected there uh, We can just get rid of this now. Okay, so this is all connected together. This is here on bearings connected as one single piece So in this case now I do believe what we're gonna end up having here actually um, I should probably change this now At a certain point anyway, this is gonna be curved blocks Didn't see the change log. Yeah, I don't think it was ever actually a part of the change log. Whoops. Yeah, I don't think it was. Okay, there we go. So now what we can do is extend... So there's going to go full length on this. This is going to be the longest part there. This is the whole boom arm, essentially. Not even working on it right now. The spud gun shoots whatever they hit. It's looking good. This is looking really good so far. It's going to be awesome. Trust me, okay? I'm a professional. So these will go here, correct, and then they uh, connect together like so, like that, right? So let me get a picture here of this thing when it's all, yeah, so the boom arm is going to go all the way to the front. The boom arm extends past it even, wow. So let's just keep going with this, I suppose, right? 
Uh, let's see how that goes. I think a little bit farther. Green is the new gray. You're back right on, Gamers Attic. Welcome back, welcome back. Diamond, stop asking me guess what, please. You gotta stop copy-pasting. You gots to stop with the copy-pasting. So let's try out this, um... Let's try out the entire thing here. So I realize now that, um... This is gonna be, like, this is kind of like an analog boom arm, you know? It's either extended or it isn't. Which is okay, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna move these wedges here so we can have a couple switches. That'll be nice. So I just want to test these uh, pistons here and see if it's gonna pick up the boom arm, right? That's kind of what we're hoping for. Is that it actually picks it up. These are all set to one by default here. Yeah! Professional builder of builder tools. Your bottle of maple syrup is cracked. Yo, Pandalux, you're working on a ship right now? Uh, yeah, put it in the Discord. I don't know if I'll ever actually get a chance to see it, you know, but... This is looking good, isn't it? So there's supposed to be a spot here for it to rest, I think, right? Uh, that's okay, though. We'll worry about that in a bit. Now, we know for a fact that this is a... It's gonna be a pretty heavy boom arm. Now, I'm gonna... I'm putting these curved duck pieces on the bottom here. And looking at the picture, it seems like it's only really on the bottom. And there are certain sections that we're gonna get rid of these curved pieces as well. So that we can add some uh, blocks for detail work. But the bottom will have it for the most part here. Have some pancakes. Yeah, the, the speed of a piston does kind of change how uh, strong it is, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of weird, though. It's kind of annoying. You would think that maybe you could just have a strength variable on something, so that way it doesn't have to be fast if you want to increase its, uh, you know, strength capabilities, but... So we need to make sure that we're gonna have, uh... Okay, hold on here. We need to make sure that this is supported as well. Did you add the legs? No, I haven't added the legs yet. We'll add the legs in when, uh, when we're done with the arm. I would like to get this done today. That's the plan, anyway, is to get it done today. We should get it done today. It's always nice to have, like, a... Uh, a little holder thing. Oh, wait. Oh, these lights. Uh, oh, wow. They might have to move these lights or something like that. They're kind of... Uh, kind of in the way. But we know for a fact, actually, that this needs to sit even one more up, right? So it's going to sit somewhere around there. So maybe it, it's nice to have, like, a, a holder like that. To just keep it, like, held in place while we're driving. That's not bad. Do you build in Stormworks? I don't really play Stormworks very much. Now make it float. Hey, Nat. No worries. Okay, so... Um, we should just go all the way to the back here like that. That looks good. This 
They're not bad. They're not bad. Add the animation for the lights. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. There's a lot of stuff to do yet on this build. We will get there. Okay, that's looking good. I think these are just supposed to be yellow here. And then that's gray in the middle. Not bad. That's looking good. I might want to... Hmm, I might just leave it that way. I was thinking of maybe adding some screws there or something. See you later, Diamond. The piston's not fully painted? Really? Oh, the top here. There we go. That's looking pretty sweet, honestly. I like it. That's awesome. I might have to do a separate system for holding it there. This is kind of large. Might change that. Okay, so we know for a fact... We don't need a lot of these blocks, I don't think. Uh, we just need what we need, you know? So now this is an even width, which is kind of annoying. Because I feel like I could maybe get away with just having a single block here instead of a, like there's no it doesn't have to be Oh, no wait. It might have to be you know what I, I'd rather be safe than sorry in this case actually So I think we will have it odd width here or I mean even width instead of a single one So how tall is this? Uh, well, okay, so we know this is gonna be the thing that we're gonna use for this no matter what. So why don't we just create a backing plate now? It's a sad face. Hey, Red, good to see you. So that is our boom arm. Let's just put a row of blocks down here as well for now. We're just going to slowly build the, the boom arm up. And try and get it functioning all at the same time here, you know? Looking good, looking good. So I don't think I, ne I necessarily need the low friction blocks on the top, but it might be a safe bet to have it there. Use the boom arm as a baseball bat. We've actually already done a home run derby in Multiplayer Monday. If you can think of it, there's a good chance we've done it in Multiplayer Monday. Okay. So then... Do I even need the sideways low friction blocks? I don't think I do. Do you mean Wrecking Ball? I wanted to make a Wrecking Ball. So you know that Destruction mod? Um, the mod that like adds all the Destruction physics or the Collision physics or whatever you want to call it? I was thinking about using that to create a... Uh, a Wrecking Ball that can like smash into a building or something and then the building falls into pieces or something like that. That'd be pretty sweet. Yo, Casual? What's going on? But yeah, so I've kind of thought about doing something like that. I think it'd be pretty sweet. So the question is, do I want to make the player remove the block or like should we use like a spud gun or something like that you know i'm not sure which one we should do actually hey miles can you prevent the damage from being applied to the crane yeah widow uh so there it's a really cool mod 
So that mod comes with the collision block, which is what you just put in the world. You put it anywhere, and it applies to everything in the world. Uh, but then you actually have a special block uh, that you can use to omit different builds or different parts of builds from being broken, uh, which is really cool. So you can definitely... Uh, you can definitely... Whoops. Have a, a part of something or a creation not be destructible while everything else is. Very cool stuff. I think this is where I want to grab this. Auto clicker. The reckoning ball. <laughs> okay, so I think this is where that goes, right? Just like that. That's where this is gonna sit. This is in its official spot right now, okay? So that means, I swear, if this lags too much, I really hope it doesn't. You should use the low friction blocks. Yeah, Tin, I am using the low, the low friction blocks at the moment, actually. That's what we have underneath it here. Those are the low friction blocks. So this is definitely going to stick out as well, right? This is not just going to be here. It's going to stick out a certain amount. Uh, let's actually have a look at the picture here that is mounted downward. So it sticks out far enough, right? Around here, maybe? Something like that. So the crane is going to get mounted to this bar here. I have a bar ready for the crane to, like, hook onto it for when you're driving. So we'll be using that. That looks like a pretty decent length, I think. Might lag a bit. Yeah, I'm willing to find out. I'm willing to find out. <laughs> Yo, Wonderkin. Oh, yeah. Worst case scenario, I will definitely use pistons or something uh, to move this, but I think it's a lot more fun to try and uh, create a, a very unique system, you know? At least in Scrap Mechanic. It's fun to push the limits on uh, on what you can make in this game. Well, especially after five or six years of playing this game, eventually you kind of go, okay, time for something new. Now, we don't actually need these gears to be out this far, uh, because the mechanism that's going to move it forward is going to be back here somewhere anyway. So any of the crane arm that sticks out in the front will not need the, uh, the pipe there for the gear. There we go. That's looking good. Crane truck looks nice. So we definitely want to paint this as well. Like so. Get it all painted up. I suppose it's going to take a, a couple minutes, but I will definitely paint all of the gears on the top as well. RAF mechanic. Yeah, I think it's worth painting all of these. It won't take too long, actually. As long as I just click really fast, then we're good to go. I think it's faster to just paint left to right like this. Go in circles. Ooh, there we go. The circle technique. There it is! That's looking sweet! I should get an auto-clicker. Ah, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, so that's good. Right? That's good. We like that. So let's see now. Everything's good there. So, I could have a system here that's like this, right? And then it kind of rides on it like a, like a channel, and then it's very close. I think I'll try it like this first, maybe. 
And then that way, because I really ideally would like to be able to just enclose the entire thing like this, you know? And hide all of those uh, low friction blocks. Now, this would be painted black, maybe like a double thick stripe like that. Wow, you can actually see through it a little bit. Look at that, you can see through the blocks. <laughs> hey, Dayton? First person shooter training. <laughs> until then, though, I think we won't have we won't close this off completely just yet. Until we uh, get the rail going here. Now this rail only has to go out as far as where the gear mechanism will be. So somewhere around there for now. There we go. Easy, easy. So around there. Perfect. You can modify it and add a wrecking ball and you're done. I could probably do that. I don't know if this is going to be a stable enough crane or not for that, but... I mean, it's probably something you could add as like an attachment, I guess, right? Okay, there we go. So that's that one there. So the question is, do we need... I think we probably do need it. Some non-slipping blocks across the top as well, right? Maybe we don't need it. I guess I'd rather just put it there and be safe, right? Better safe than sorry. I think that's the best motto to live by in this build. The only thing is at this point here... Ooh, you know what we could do? We will cover the top of this with, um, like this block here, maybe. With the, uh little panel. I like that. <laughs> it's getting together really nicely. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with this so far. So that's gonna be like that. And then here we have to add our mechanism. Which is this thing here, right? Hey, yo, Eb the King, welcome back, good to see you. Make the back of the extended part out of low friction blocks? Well, the back of it is touching low friction Looking blocks, good. so it should be okay. Cool truck as well. Yo, Tenda with the 10 bomb! Thank you so much, Tenda, really appreciate that. Cool truck as well. <laughs> Tenda. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat and the mega compliment. I did not make that jump. Yeah, thank you so much, Tenda. Looking good and functional within Scrap Mechanic does not exist. I would like to challenge that a little bit, maybe. So the mechanism is going to sit... I guess it would be ideal if it just sits here, right? Like, right here at the front of the crane system, right? The part that grabs the side rail, touch the sidewall. Yeah, I guess you're right, eh? Technically, we should probably have... Um, I guess that's really easy to change here, isn't it? We just do that and that. And then we can paint them black. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just to make sure that those side walls don't interfere at all. It's a good idea. There we go. So that way we know they're part of the actual uh, boom and not the crane arm itself. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that because so what's going to happen is we're going to be enclosing it like that. And then once it does get enclosed, it will technically make contact there. So that's a good point. Make the back plate out of low friction blocks. Yeah, I'll just do that one part anyway. Just lurking while at work. Yeah, we got lots of members now, I'll tell you what. So I'll use pistons on either side for symmetry's sake, like so. Like this, I suppose. 
colon underscore moon dead poo colon underscore moon dead poo colon underscore moon dead poo this is that's all you get to. today. Still <laughs> recovering from last month. Underscore moon dead poo colon underscore moon dead poo colon underscore moon dead poo. <laughs> Yo, dead duel, thank you so much for the super chat. By all means, your financial well-being is more important than my financial well-being, okay? Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Poo and colon. <laughs> so what we're going to do again, I guess, is... Um, so I don't really need pistons on both sides, come to think of it. I really don't need that, do I? But what I could do, I suppose, is... So we'd have this one. This would go to the electric motor, right? This one will rotate the offset. Right? And then this one will be a free bearing. Like so. Now let's just weld that together. Right? I think that should be... That's all connected. So, let's see here. It's definitely an electric motor that we want. And don't worry, we're gonna save this whole thing before we, uh... Before we start breaking things and testing things, we'll, uh, check it out. This one stuck around. Well, I was like, you know what? It's kind of a funny emote, actually, isn't it? I mean, I enjoy it. So why not? I mean, for now. I'm sure there will be better ones eventually. Uh, let's see now. So this will go all the way to there. And then this is a cosmetic one, so we'll just do that here. Oh crap. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hold on. This is not even gonna reach. Not even gonna reach. What was I thinking? It's not even gonna come close to reaching. We gotta drop this down one more block. I think we can easily do that by doing this here. Break that there. And then break this one, whoops, here. There we go, and now we just have to weld this back, right? And I think we should be, oh god. Should be okay, let's grab it. I should have all these emojis on Discord as well. Well, one thing I like to do is keep the emotes, like, kind of exclusive to YouTube a little bit, you know? For the members and all that. There we go, I think that is better, right? You have it on your other server. So. That goes like that. This is going to go to the electric motor. This one goes to the controller. It's offset by 45 degrees. There we go. And so, yeah, now we need the switch to uh, pop these up real fast. There we go. And there it is. Perfect. Uh, I don't think you'll be able... You can't put links. I have links disabled in chat, so you'll have to share a build or something on Discord. Roll restricted emojis. Hey, gamer. Good to see you. Hello to you. And Beta Omega? Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> okay, so that's looking good there, right? That's gonna be, um... That'll be a working gear system, I believe. So why don't we just save this and let's try and extend the thing. Uh, have I saved this at all yet? Lego Crane? No, I haven't. I don't even- I haven't even saved this yet. So we're going to call it the Lego Crane Truck. Now it's saved. Perfect. And I really want to test the, um... really want to test this, uh, boom arm with the gear system. It's going to be very broken, I would imagine. Want a baguette? I'll take a baguette. It's going good, Aiden. You finally get to see a stream. 
And hello, Fitz. Yeah, oh, dead tool. There's more than enough emotes now. I was talking to Janelle about it not long ago. I was like, honestly, like, I, I went from having like 8 to 22. I think we can all agree that that's a massive jump. And, uh, not too concerned about it, you know? Okay, so that's like that. Um, let's see now. Whoops. So... We're gonna have to make a bigger plate down here, I think, for that part. Let's try this out, shall we? So, we break it here. And now it's a free-floating object. Might need more power, or what? Look at that! That's crazy, isn't it? I think we definitely want some taller pistons, though, don't we? Like, this needs to go straight up a little bit more. Wow. That is so cool. It's working like a charm. So I wonder if uh, maybe steering bearings will be enough for this or not. I don't know. Let's try it out. Because if we do that, and then we just turn bearing lock on, right? And then allow for... I guess 120 on both of them? Why is it so... The bearing lock is on. Maybe it's just the speed. A little too much momentum being pushed. Has Dark been on? Yeah, Dark's been on. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Oh god, I'm stuck. Uh, Dark has COVID, unfortunately. Uh, so he was here, but he had to head off. Is this with mods? Um, nope, this is vanilla. Why is there so much swinging happening right now? Like, why is it rotating so, so much? Okay, well, I'm not gonna use that. We're not gonna use the turning. <laughs> okay, this is kind of annoying getting stuck in here like this. Very annoying getting stuck in there. Say good luck to Dark. Yeah, I hope he's I hope he's all right. He's got a bad fever. That's the placer scenario. Yeah, Dark was saying he understood the risks that were involved. <laughs> so is this going to stay extended or will this slowly like start rolling back in, I wonder? Just out of curiosity. Okay, it looks like it's pretty secured. I am quite surprised that this is working as well as it is. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I didn't think this was going to work as well as it is, but here we are. I need staddlies. Why are the wheels so big? Which wheels? These wheels? Okay, yo, actually there are some mods then. Yeah, there are mods. <laughs> there are, I forgot. We're using the wheels by Karasu. Beautiful. It's working very well. Very happy with what we've got now. The logistics of a three-tier crane. Yeah, usually when you make crane-related things in Scrap Mechanic, you just kind of have to, uh, you know, make it work uh, re relatively simplistically, you know? Makes more sense now. Yeah, no, I forgot. I forgot about the modded wheels. Yeah. So we have to add weight to this and then still make sure 
that it's going to lift the crane arm. And then we have to add the actual, like, hook. Hook and uh, that whole assembly at the end as well. Right? We'll get there. This is just like the Lego build, too. The way it uses those teeth and gears. Yo, Crazy Mimi, good to see you. Use a controller for turning the crane. I think I'll use an electric motor. I think that's pretty much like our best bet. So do I... I just put normal blocks here, right? Like this? Yeah, I think that's what we want. Just normal blocks here. This is if we want to hide all of these low friction blocks. And I kind of want to do it. I would say this is the best way to do it. There we go. That's not bad. Hey, warrior. Your name could look better in blue. I don't know if it's wise to give someone who refers to themselves as God any power. <laughs> it's really big. This is a big crane. It's a big crane. It's a no-joke crane. You don't see me laughing about this crane. I need stabilizers. We're getting there. We're getting there. The holder at the front should be lower. I'm going to probably end up changing the front, the holder completely anyway, so we're not I'm not going to worry too much about it. But you're not wrong. It is a little too high up. It is kind of leaning it up like that. A part of me wants to get rid of this top section. Returning to your rightful place. <laughs> it came out cool. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm not sure about this, how high this is, I guess, but... Why? Since when do these textures break like this? Do you guys notice how you can see through? I don't know if you guys are seeing this or not, but like, see how I'm seeing through these blocks like this? Has it always been this way, or have I turned my settings down or something like that? Like, is this just a settings thing? You know what I mean? You noticed it before this update? Black in the middle of the yellow. It looks too tall. Yeah, I kind of agree it looks pretty tall. But if I look at the picture here... Yeah, it is too tall. It is pretty tall. It's supposed to be as low as this crane, the, the, the seat there. This seat should be sitting at about the same height as the crane. Now, we are obviously hiding a lot of uh, functionality within the crane. But I think I'd like to get rid of this edge piece here, because maybe at the very least what might happen is it might give it a bit of a rounded shape and not look as tall. Yeah, we'll add the black strip, don't worry. So maybe something like that helps not make it look as tall, right? And then if we add our black stripe here, these are things that might kind of make it look better. That's not bad. I missed some wedges near the rear cab. I'm sure I did. Don't worry, it's a work in progress. <laughs> A settings issue? I don't know. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've never... It's never been much of a problem before, but it really does seem like it's... Uh, like it's very obvious very, right now, you know? I didn't really notice it before. So this will all get painted black here. So technically, actually, if we want to kind of color match with the um, the Lego build, then we'll paint uh, the gear itself blue. Try 
try it out anyway. Eating pistachios, figured I'd ruin them for everyone. You know how you get super bitter ones sometimes. Moth larvae most of the time. Good luck. <laughs> Dead duel. Thank you for the super chat. I thought you said you were only going to send me one super chat. And of course, you send another one. And you send that. Of all things you could have said in that super chat, you had to say that, didn't you? Yeah, if your pistachio is uh, kind of squishy on the inside... <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though. I appreciate it. And hey, maybe it's just a friendly warning, right? Just trying to give everyone a friendly warning. <laughs> so we will go all the way to here with this block. Like so. That's not bad. You couldn't ruin it without everyone reading it out loud. <laughs> what is, yeah, what is, mm, it's free protein, right? The seat is a bit too short. I mean, that's one solution, I guess, right? We could just move the seat up instead of moving anything else down. Right? We could just move the seat up. I don't really feel like breaking this, though. It's just one of those things that, like... If I got rid of this top no-friction block, then I'm sure I would probably get away with not having to, like, worry about the height of it all, you know? But... It's a tough call. Tough call. There are, um... A lot of things to consider. A lot of things to consider. Didn't stop you from eating them? I mean, okay, I mean, just open the pistachio and look at it. <laughs> is that... That's a, a revolutionary concept, is it? When in doubt, just look at the food before you put it in your mouth. <laughs> you feel like building a walking mechanism? There's lots of different ways to build a walking mechanism in this game. So this is obviously heavier now. Right? It's obviously much heavier. So let's extend these pistons to four. I think we want to increase the speed as well if we want it to, uh, to be a little bit stronger, right? So we'll go five and three on the speed. Five, five and three. That should be all of them. A wrench? You're gonna make a wrench walker? That's a new one. <laughs> it does go up with quite a bit of force now. But I think that's just something we have to live with if we want it to... You know, do what it has to do. Uh, so let's add in a couple more electric engines here. I do hope that this doesn't crash my build. Having too many electric engines on one build apparently is not good. You don't want too many. Because it might crash the game for some reason, you know? They've never fixed that. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe one day. So we'll just put some buttons here like that. So two and three. So two will be to turn it to the left. And three will be turning it to the right. So this is to the left. That is to the right. Perfect. This chat is evil. The arm has to be lower. What do you mean? Sticky wheels to wrap mechanic. See what it's like with that. Hmm. There's a lot of friction happening now because of what we've added. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is really annoying. Getting stuck in your seat.
Don't go too high. Trying to interview this guy. Who are you trying to interview? This is not good. I can't rotate this anymore. Why isn't it spinning? Is there just too much weight on this thing now? Or do I really need to, like, step up the speed? I think I need the counterweight, don't I? Just had a bitter pistachio. <laughs> so I think we actually need some counterweight here, don't we? Like some real, actual weight in the back. So I do believe that, yeah, Concrete 3 is by far the heaviest block here, right? How does it paint, though? It doesn't paint very well, does it? Acting like it's stuck on something. I think it's just the amount of weight it's trying to rotate. I think that's what it comes down to. Like, these are maxed out level 5 engines. Electric motors. But when I had it on the steering system, let's try the steering here. I could have sworn when it was on the steering. Yeah, look at that. Look at the steering. The steering has no problem. So why is it that the steering can turn it, but the electric motor can't? Do double bearings? Too much friction? But the steering is working no problem. Like, look at this. Look at how easy it is for me to rotate this, right? So maybe we just use steering. That might be the solution here. Is to just use the steering. I guess it's not necessarily ideal or anything like that, but... It should work. Training with two bearings with the steering. But I thought if I were to switch this around, I guess they cancel each other out. So there's two bearings, right? Which means that if... So with two bearings... If I put the turn speed down, and then we put those... That to 90. And this to 90. That gives us full 180 degrees. But the only thing is we won't be able to spin around in circles, right? We'll have to, like, backtrack it. Bearing lock on. So tapping it very slightly. So then I reach, this is as far back as I can go. I mean, it works with the steering bearing. It's just very touchy, very touchy. But it works, it does work. Put some parking brakes so it doesn't move as much. Quan, can you please stop copy-pasting the same message over and over again? Please. So that's working. Let's give this another save. Right, everything's here, right? That's what we just did. Everything looks good. F 
4D Minecraft. <laughs> you thought I didn't see it? Even if I didn't see it, just move on. If I don't see your message, just move on, you know? Just move on to something else. Nothing's worse than, like, trying to have a conversation and then you just have people copy-pasting the same message over and over again, you know? And it's like, how about we just have a conversation instead of, like, just spamming me with the same messages, you know? I much prefer conversation over randomness. Two controllers on 360-degree loop and two buttons? You got the downloader for it? Yeah, I mean, I don't even play Minecraft in general, so... <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, let's lift the crane arm up. And then lower the, uh, this bracket thing here. Uh, hold on, actually. We gotta move these lights. These lights are actually in the way. There we go. We'll put them in this orientation. That looks better anyway. Even something like that, right? This actually looks kind of cool. Gets the job done, and it's a great excuse for our favorite, favorite, favorite block. There it is. Anytime we can use one of these, I am a happy camper. This is something else. It fixed two problems at one. But it's not really a problem, you see? That's the thing. It's not really much of a problem. It's hard. It's not a problem at all, you know? The fact that this seat is a little bit lower than this crane, you know what I mean? Like, realistically, the difference here is moving this up by, like, two or three blocks. And for me, it's just a, it's a non-issue, you know? Like, I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, I have to fit a hell of a lot more crap in here to make it work compared to just your standard Lego build, right? So this needs to stay... Um, enclosed, or opened, I mean. That has to stay open for the entire thing to rotate. Brace block for the win. A smoke machine and scrap mechanic. So, Furious One, there is a really great mod created by Ike07, or Ike07. Uh, and it's the, it's the effects mod. And so it has, I think it has pretty much every single particle effect and visual effect in the game on a series of blocks that you can trigger with a uh, logic, like a solution, and you can trigger those blocks to emit the particle effect that you want. Really cool. You're gonna go to sleep. Eat, have each bearing go 180 degrees. I don't want to do that because um, So the reason why I don't want to do that is the bigger I make that angle Then the less control I have over the crane the uh, the step that it moves is much greater if I do that You gotta say goodbye. All right mambo. I love you Sorry about the internet. I guess uh, it's been a while since it's gone down You dropped it on the discord Okay, so let's see what the front here is gonna bring us. Whoops. So I'm gonna design this to look like, you know, the way it does. Despite the fact that it's not going to work the way it does, <laughs> it's just gonna be more of a visual thing, basically. Which is kind of what you have to do with some of these Lego builds, right? You gotta get creative with it. Transformer with a crane truck. So then... So this is not real, right? These aren't... Actually, I'm not even going to bother putting bearings because it's just going to add lag when we don't actually need it. I'll sooner just have it be faked. You know? Fake it till you make it. It, unlimited data, or limited to unlimited, and it's cheaper. Gotta love it. 
Uh, we're not gonna have it stick out that much, though. We'll just have them be, like, there. Need a decent rope mod? Yeah, there was that one rope mod, but I think they got rid of it, didn't they? Some of the creator deleted it or something like that. And it was a pretty good mod. Like, I mean, as far as, like, mods go, that mod was way ahead of its time, in my opinion. So the top ones are gray. But the bottom ones could be red instead, right? Like so. And if I zoom in on this... Hey, JB Gamer, good to see you! And Lingon, welcome back. The Lego build's coming together? Yeah, it's not too shabby! What is this here? God. Okay, that's like that. Whoops, I accidentally closed my picture. That's alright. So I think I do want this to go like that as well. I think that's kind of what it's like in the Lego build there. And so the crane, this is where the crane arm comes from. Yo, Axel! A bot is on its way? What, how do you know the bots are coming? How do you know about the bots? <laughs> Paint those black to match. There we go, okay. So how am I going to put these? There's no ropes, so how are we going to do it? The red and gray antenna? Antenna? What are you talking about? So... I need some type of... I need to use... There's no rope. We already know that. There's no rope in this game. I need some type of, uh, hmm. I need something to act like rope, don't I? So maybe it would be, uh, worth having... ...something like this instead. I guess the thing is... This is gonna be even, like, this is even width, but we only have one rope coming out of it, right? So it's kind of like, what the heck? going on here, you know? Look up past your build. Oh, this one. <laughs> Still play Subnautica? Eh. Well, there's... Because uh, I had red and gray here. So I was confused, okay? So maybe I'll just have a side-by-side -side kind of thing like this instead, you know? I think that's fine for me. It's not going to bother me, and if it bothers you, well, then uh, you should get some help. So there's bearings up there. We don't need these bearings here, technically, but... So, te ideally, I guess you would want this to be on pistons, right? But... Pistons can only go so far. So maybe we do want, uh, like, a, a stack of pistons like this first. And then that goes to the mechanism, right? Use pipe pieces as rope? Yeah, that's the plan. It's just part of the crane now. <laughs> Try and get somewhat creative with this, uh... Oh, wait, no, that's not gonna work at all. I guess I'm just gonna use normal wedges. <laughs> so... The crane hook, I don't even know if this actually works or not as a hook. Uh, let's see here. Let's reduce this length by maybe the whole thing. Let's try that. No, 
Not too bad. I just want to kind of wiggle the crane arm around a little bit here with those loose bearings. Make sure it looks good. Oh, yeah. Look at that crane. That looks good. How big is the warehouse crane hook? It's exactly this big. <laughs> so, like I said, it's off-centered, technically. I could have two of them. That could, looks like it's alright, really. But I'm okay with having the one, I think. It doesn't have to be centered, right? It's not a big deal if it's not centered. Uh-oh. It's too heavy now. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. I can't believe this steering bearing is that much better than the, the electric motor. Maybe we do have to come in here and add uh, double bearings, right? Maybe we do. Right? An anchor block like in Trailmakers? No. Can you make the crane actually pick stuff up? Uh, I don't know if these hooks work very well or not, honestly. Uh, let's give this a save, though. We've, we've made some good progress here. I could use my favorite piece at the what? Oh my god, let me in the seat. So I think we probably want some... I, I think it would probably be very beneficial to have some counterweights at the back here, you know? I think uh, it'd probably go a long way to have a counterweight here. Can make your own out of pipes. That's true. Very true. Oh my goodness. Stop falling, please. Why did it note? Why did it turn my steering wheel? Like, why did that? Is it like it's rem is it remembering that position or something? Man, that's so annoying. So here's my solution then actually. So this is or not a solution, but it's also it's just a bit of a workaround. What if we just made these go like the 30 degrees by default or whatever, you know? So that way, I'm not moving like a mile every time I barely tap the controls to turn this thing. So maybe lowering the step. There we go. See, that's better. And the difference is that I can't go all the way around, you know? Like, I stop here instead. But it just, it gives me the fine control that I want, right? Like... I think that's the most important thing, is being able to turn this and stop it exactly where you want. And then the limit is here, right? So that's not that bad. I like that. That's a decent solution, I would say. Why don't I use the polygon mod for the curved pieces? Which curved pieces? Plus, I've been really enjoying, like, like vanilla again. I really enjoy all those new survival parts, and building in vanilla has just been a lot of fun. Obviously, I have the modded wheels, but that's because... I think Scrap Mechanic is certainly lacking in the wheel department, you know? The fact that we only have, um... Wait, we have two wheels, right? I, I find it kind of ridiculous that we still only have, uh, two wheels in the game, but... It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna paint these gray because they're technically supposed to be, uh... A spindle. Hmm. Why not lower the turn speed instead? Uh, the turn speed is actually set to zero. I can't make the turn speed go any lower. And so the problem is the step count when you tap it, right?
This is looking pretty good, though. I'm happy with it so far. Make the turn 45 degrees. Use the large pipe brackets to make seven block wide wheels. Why is it turning me like that? Like, why is it turning me by default? And once you go down too far like this, you're screwed. The, it won't pick it up anymore. Uh-oh. Hmm. So do we need, like, uh, something to stop that from going that far down? I could use blocks for something like that, right? Like, if we did something like this... Then, in theory, that should stop that from going down further, right? You didn't get last place. Add some concrete. See, why is it turning me to the right like this by default? What happened? Like, I don't understand why it's turning me by default right now. Like, even when I put the seat or put it on the lift and take it off again. It just keeps turning me to the right. Why? Might have to get rid of these as well. I think this is adding a lot more weight than I thought it probably would be. So I think it might be an idea to just get rid of these too. I think I'm gonna add more pistons. Need a parking brake. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add some more pistons here because we don't have the power. <laughs> there is not enough power. A transformer build. I made one transformer and that was enough. What kind of steering do you use for the crane? I'm just using the steering bearings, actually. So I need an extra piston in here, don't I? Unless... Let me try and increase the speed first. I know it might be very violent, but... I think it might be worth it. Not quite. Not quite at all. Oh wait, no, I'm blocking it right now. Oh my god, I'm blocking it. <laughs> there we go. I was blocking it. Okay, well it still doesn't matter. I'm definitely blocking it though. <laughs> I did bearing lock at right as default. I don't think you can set a default like that on these though. There's no there's no default setting on a bearing. Hmm. Well, it didn't spin us around this time. But we don't... Okay, that the max speed is not good. The max speed is just dangerous, isn't it? You put it on your kid's computer? <laughs> really hate that you have to increase the speed of a piston to make it stronger. 
very stupid. Because it's so violent dropping it down, you know? Alright, I'm just going to add an extra piston. I'm going to add two pistons. I just want this to work, you know what I'm saying? Just want it to work, man. So do that. Uh, okay, I guess we have to break these here. That's okay. Do some blocks there. I realize now that I have to re-replace these blocks. That's okay. So we'll just get rid of that. Put a block there. Weld it. Get rid of that one. Block it. And then weld it. There we go. So now we can go up here, and we'll use the curve piece again to try and keep it in line. Use the WS controls from a seat to power the pistons to a controller. Uh, I'm using the W and S for the, um, for the boom extension, actually. Uh, okay, so hold on, actually. I need to get rid of, uh, yeah, these are actually going to get replaced by blocks. And then weld it all together. And now we're gonna add just more pistons here. When in doubt, add more thrusters or pistons. Or bearings or motors. Just add more. <laughs> Doubled up adjustable pistons. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. So then we'll just connect these. Oh wait, no, I'd rather have them matching here. So we'll do the other... Like so. And then weld them together. And then weld it all together, right? And now it's all one piece. There it is. So now we just have to set these again. I think five was a good length, right? And three speed. You can ex set the exact amount of Newtons on pistons. Uh, yeah, I mean, there that would be... That would be nice if you could have that much um, control over a piston, right? Okay, so... That's the new set there. Let's save this now. And let's see if this is any better. Alright, it's better. We just gotta slow it down now. I think it's going just way too fast. Let's try just the slowest speed here. Because I wanted to rise up nice and slow. And yes, it would definitely be really nice to be able to, like, really precisely control the height of the crane arm. Uh, but unfortunately, you know... Okay, that's way better. Look at that. I like that. So now the question is, are we going to be able to drop this down on this side here and then pick it back up again? It's dropped down all the way to the ground. Nope. So we need to stop that from happening. That can't be a thing. Need the outriggers now? Yeah, we're almost on to the outriggers, actually. It got better with the last updates. Add more electric engines? Yeah, that's not how they work. <laughs> so that's better. This is definitely better than before. Hey, Pappy, good to see you. So if I... Oh, my God. I'm going to delete this now. I'm going to spawn it back in. Is the bearing... If I lock the bearing... Oh, whoops. I am in the driver's seat right now. Okay, there we go. So it's once it's... 
say once it's loaded in, it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, we'll be adding the outriggers. Yeah, we're gonna add a stopper there. I'm definitely going to add some form of stopping mechanism here so that it can't drop down lower than this here. So, let's see here. So why not just something like this then, right? I think that's fair enough, right? I was thinking, I guess it could... I'll just connect it to this here, maybe. Yeah, and then hopefully what that's going to do is just stop the whole thing from... Uh... Oh, wow. I'm always locking things in place here. <laughs> yeah, I'm always breaking something, aren't I? So that should work, right? Nope. It needs to be higher than that. I need to add a little bumper on the front, on the bottom of the cabin. You could make the stopper on the yellow pipe under the crane arm. The yellow pipe? Yellow pipe under the crane arm. See, I'm thinking something like this. Why does it keep auto-steering? Why does it do that? Why? God, is that really what bearing lock does? Is that really what bearing lock will do? Is like change the angle on spawn? Slice her off? What's going on? Okay, that's working now. Stream lag. So that's the max turn there. That's dropping all the way down. And it picks it up again. Okay, perfect. So that works now, right? It drops it. It rests on this little bracket here. And then it's capable of picking the crane arm up again. And then by using the turning abilities of our seat... Whoops. We can drop it back down again like so. so we're gonna have to change the steering here again. The wheels... <laughs> the wheels are a little broken right now, but we'll fix that. So I think we should add the outriggers now, right? Weld it to see if it changes. You've got good Wi-Fi. This is how you handle it. Not PJ, not seeing your message, kids. Did you ever upload your Mars transport? Yes, I realize kids don't have money bag. <laughs> money with wings. Underscore moon money. <laughs> Yo, Dead Tool, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> You're helping out your kid there, right? Eh? Um, so no, I haven't. You know what? I should really do that now. Let's just do it right now, right? Let's do it right now. We're gonna do it. We're gonna upload the lag free one That's a cool thumbnail, isn't it? Let's share that <laughs> We're gonna share it now But oh, yo, thank you so much dead tool for the super chat. Ah, there is a mod missing here. I can't upload this one yet. I'll upload it after. But yeah, we'll get it there. 
I definitely did not upload it yet. I uploaded that one. I'll set it. I forgot, actually. Uh, where? Update. Oh, I didn't have to do that, I guess. Oh, of course it updates the thumbnail and everything. Update. I have Scramman waiting for our builds. <laughs> All right, so at least the the cargo ship is up, and I just set it to public there, so that's good to go. I'm pretty sure I need to add some items. It's the mod pack. I'll do that after. I want to finish this first instead. Uh, so let's see. Out riggers. So there's a it's a really cool system that this uses uh, to do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it though. I realize now. How is it done? What's wrong with Twitch? Why you gotta be so mad at Twitch? Your boss remind- wait, are you my boss? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Build safety support on the crane? What do you mean a safety support? This thing is extremely safe. <laughs> that should be painted black. Oh, I need one on this side as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do the outriggers yet. Is that where it goes? Just one off the back there? Two off the back. You hate Twitch? Love the ability to rewind? You can rewind on Twitch, you know, eh? You can do that. There is a way to do it. I realize now we just added all those uh, pistons, which means I probably could get away with having these on there again. But I think maybe what I'll do is just leave, like, have a few of them at the beginning like this, maybe. And then that's it, you know, just leave them empty the rest of the way. When am I going to add the siren light? We'll get there. The side behind the doors. What do you mean? So the outrigger... How do I want to do this? There are many styles. <laughs> At least YouTube did one thing right. Yeah, it's not as easy on Twitch. You are right about that. It's absolutely not easy. So how do these work again? It's a bearing. Right? Uh, let's maybe get some controllers in here. Uh, what's not connected to anything? That one has stuff. This one doesn't. So this can be the controller for the outriggers here. I might have to look at the video again. You put mods in Wrath Mechanic? Yep, yeah, I know that. Hey, little creepers. Yeah, so let's see here. This bearing... Yeah, I'm gonna quickly look at the video of this, uh, this type of truck. Lego crane truck. I'm gonna look at the video of the, uh, so there are these, the, uh, outriggers are functioning in the Lego build. And so I want to just get a look at them moving again. Yo, Vince, it's going good. Thanks for asking. But yeah, I want to take a look at these moving parts again. And it's not necessarily that I'm going to do them exactly like how they look in the video and everything, but at the very least, I want to see how it works. Where is the part where he puts the outriggers? Oh, okay, I see, I see. 
So we'll do a bearing. I guess we don't necessarily want it to be right up against that, right? Make a bummer plate? What the hell is a bummer plate? So this is kind of tough, because I don't know if I can do it this way. Let's try. Let's try. Because <laughs> it's almost like these need to be offset. Because these are going to start upward. Ooh, I don't know if I have room for this. How would I do this? I really want to do it the way they have them. Is the crane going to work? The crane already works. It's already working great. Yo, Matthew, good to see ya. So I don't have room for this this way. So I might only have room for one. For one arm system. And not quite the way Lego has it. Yo, thanks, Redneck. Because <laughs> if we at least do it with just the single working piece, right? So that goes there. Because technically, what? That would be like that. Like this. So let's just hook up a switch here for testing purposes. And so I think this just has to do a 90 degree turn, right? So, so it'll go red 90 degrees. Something like that, right? Now I will probably have this on a controller too. And so this one will go red. Um, maybe it's... Is it more or less? Hold on. We need to see here. Yeah, something like that, right? Because we could now... Have, like, a little bit of a footing there. Use a piston. Yeah, some of the... Yeah, the Lego builds are so much fun to do. A bumper plate? I'm not sure what a bumper plate is. So it's something like this. Okay, hold on. So we need even more bearings, technically, don't we? If I wanted something like this... Did I ever finish the Mars Transporter in the truck? Yeah, I actually... I'm gonna upload it today. So if I... I can't really have another one here like that, right? I would have to change the length of this. This would have to be one longer like that. Which, you know what? I think I'm going to do. I'm not really too worried about the ground clearance on this thing. I think it's pretty well established now that the ground clearance is horrible. And uh, I don't suggest you use it on hills. <laughs> Extend the arm thing with a piston. I'm not using pistons here, guys. So, because technically I would ideally have something like this, right? This is kind of the ideal uh, support arm, but obviously it's way longer. But that's kind of what we wanted to do, right? Like, we want this to really get the whole thing off of the ground, right? Like I said, though, it's like way too long now.
It protects the driver from serious injury. Looks good so far. It's getting there. So I think this is good enough for the... Uh, for the whole support arm. What does this look like here? Does this fit? Oh, it's just a little too long, isn't it? If that could have fit there, that would have been so good. Hmm. Cranes that operate mostly on flat surfaces. That's a good point. So since that's a fact, then we're going to roll with it. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good system, though. Right? So let's try it out on this side now. Up by four. Another one there. Drop it down past by one. Kinda wanted to use the caution block though for this. like that, right? Because I think we're going to paint these ones red, too. Something like that. I should make some modded blocks. That's what I should do. Try and make a few modded blocks, right? Because this one would be nice with the white stripes. And then we do... Uh, maybe we'll paint these as well. like that. So these are a little bit more minimalistic compared to the actual ones, but trying to balance a little bit of functionality here. And I think we just have to pretty much do the same thing on the back, right? Three and four. The space pack. <laughs> so then these are gonna go red and red so it's just gonna be another 90 and then another 105 right let's try that and there we go and it picks it right up off the ground now, we could probably get away with, uh, maybe... Like, that's a, that's a pretty big clearance there. It only needs to be, like, a millimeter, you know? So, let's see here. And that would involve extending these just farther, right? There we go. That makes more sense like that. Yeah, that's perfect. So then we just need to add the same thing back here. Whew, man, there's a lot to this, isn't there? And I'm pretty sure this is all the same height, right? If we go all the way across. Is it the same height? Uh-oh. Yeah, Right down the center of the wheels. Yeah, this has to go down one more, doesn't it? Centered wheel. Centered wheel, yep. And it was, uh... I guess this case is going to be three blocks in from here, right? Because we could get rid of that, yeah. And get rid of that. So it would be two here. I'm just going to do the same setup as the front ones, I would say. Is this the same height? Can I make the foot bigger? Yeah, I'll probably make the foot bigger. I think that's the same height, right? Because it's just one below the halfway point of the wheels. One below. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'll have to find some kind of way to make them bigger. Mm 
There it is. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put the uh, caution blocks here. Are they going to be more detailed? What, the arms? Uh, the, uh, the braces? Ideally, yes. There's only so much you can do with some things, though, in this game, I find, when it comes to detail work. Get them all hooked up first, though, and working, and then that way we'll be able to uh, kind of make them all work and then add the details after. So red's that way, red's that way, red that way, red that way. So red this way and red that way. Oh, wait, no, red that way, just to rotate it outward, and red that way. I think that's it. Why are you spamming the chat, hero? Why are you spamming the chat? Are these way- wait, what have I done so differently? Are these- these are rotating out the wrong way, aren't they? You think you want- the, they want to let me know they're back. Wait, what have I done? Why are these rotating all wonky-like? I set the angles wrong? Did I? I thought they were all red. Oh, yeah. I did them in the wrong order, didn't I? That's why. Hype spam. <laughs> I don't really want much spam in my chat, personally. Okay, so this doesn't have to be as tall as that now. So those are the legs. They seem to be working pretty good. Now, I guess if we do want more detail on these, I'll have to use something other than uh, the curved piece there. And what I'll do is I will put... Um, blocks instead so we can kind of connect where we need to around them for the analytics it looks epic I'm trying to add some form of uh, extra detail on these so that they're not completely boring. And I think I really like these here. Could even have four of them. That might be excessive though. I think I'll put them on both sides though. I think I would like that. To have them like this here on e on both sides as well. It's gonna it looks a lot better like that, doesn't it? Like definitely like a footing. So this thing is starting to lag. <laughs> it was only a matter of time until this thing started lagging, am I right? 
We might have to have to reel it back in a little bit here. We'll see. So there we go. So we're completely off the ground now. Uh, I should probably save this before I start messing with anything. Drop the physics down a tick. Lego, crane, truck. Yeah, if I need to, I will. But right now it's kind of hit or miss, you know? I mean, I haven't even unlocked the arm yet. I don't even know if the arm is going to extend or not. We haven't tested anything with the hooking system yet, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. Let's try this out. We've just saved it, right? So that means we can try this. Oh, crap. Hold on. Okay, the supports are kind of flipped. No biggie. Oh, hold on, actually. No, I do need to... I need something... where I can access this block here to break free the, um... Where is it? Is that the block? I think that is the block. So I'll just leave a hole there for that. And then that way we'll have access to remove the uh, the block that holds the boom in. It looks really cool. Delete my test arm. Yeah, I probably should do that. That's not a bad idea. I mean, there's not much there, obviously, but we don't need it, so we might as well get rid of it, right? Uh, so let's see here. Let's try this out again. The legs go down. Those look really good like that, don't they? They look much better that way. So those are sitting there. So now, here's what we do. We break this free. It's not that laggy. It's not that laggy. Use cardboard and a spud gun. I was thinking about that, but... You didn't get banned. It's a little laggy. Uh-oh. It's not working. It's not working, guys. Oh, why was the engine off? Why was the engine off? Why did- when would I have changed that engine? You know it's still not working. Uh-oh. Is it even trying? It doesn't even look like it's trying right now. Oh, well, that would be why. It's not hooked up. When did all this stuff get disconnected? Who disconnected that? <laughs> okay, now we don't want max speed. Or not max speed, but we don't want whatever speed it's at right now. Or maybe we do? Maybe we do need more speed. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do need more, lots of speed. Come on! I know you want to work! There it goes. It works! That is so cool, isn't it? Like, you can really control exactly how far out the boom arm is. This thing is a lag monster, though. By all means, Oh, wow. Why does it get stuck so easily? It works well when it works! Like, I'm trying to, like, maybe wiggle it out. Once it starts moving, there's, like, no problems at all, right? So... 
I wonder what we can do to fix that. Because if we lower it down... It's still stuck. Even though it's lowered down, it's still getting stuck. Well, that's not good at all. And now it's slipping. Hmm. Need some WD-40? <laughs> Well, I think it's slipping because the engine is too fast now, maybe? Well, no, that doesn't make sense. It just won't work now. It's like slipping. This is very laggy now as well, isn't it? I mean, we knew this was gonna happen. We knew this was gonna turn into a laggy build. Right? We always knew. We knew the whole time. I mean, I knew. Try a controller? I guess a controller would, in theory, have more power, wouldn't it? I guess the only concern I have is that it won't, um... It won't be as easy to control how far out it goes, you know? But I think you're probably right. Uh, there probably is a certain amount of value here in using... Oh, wait! I have this extra bearing. Why don't we... No, never mind. I have the extra bearing. I never even thought to hook up the extra bearing. Right? Why didn't... I never thought of that. Let's try that first. Because, yeah, we have two bearings that we should be using. And I was only using the one on the one side, right? So now we have two bearings. Hopefully that's even more, like, grip Use a gas engine? I think we want the consistency of an electric motor though, right? I think that's important for us, is having the consistency. Let's save this now. Do I like the new update? Yo! I shoot cake, how's it been? Uh, the new update's been pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, it didn't have that much stuff. Okay, hold on. So I realize... I've got a lot of extra bearings down here on these arms, or on the, uh, the footings. Which I think what I might prefer to do is, uh, instead of using bearings on these arms, it probably would be better to have them stationary. So that way, uh, it's not as laggy. Because every bearing counts at this point, right? Controller has more torque? Yeah, it does. But, I think we might be able to get away with, uh, the double electric engine now, right? So let's just make sure we got some power in there. Yeah, we do. Uh, so we just go here, break that off. Is it not hooked up? How did I not hook that up? Is it? It is hooked up. It's not even trying to rotate right now, though. Why isn't it even trying? Speed doesn't equal torque? Yeah, I think we might have to use a controller. I think one of them it has to be spinning the opposite direction, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. One of them was spinning in the wrong direction, even though the bearings were facing the right way. working right how cool is this man this is so awesome though <laughs> all right we may have ejected it we might have ejected it I'm doing good thank you for asking <laughs> Whoops. All right, we kind of shot it out. So that means that there's no holder in there. We need to make a holder. <laughs> Fire the boom arm. <laughs> all right, all right. We're making progress. We're making progress. 
<laughs> Kaboom. When's the next Super Auto Pets? I don't know. I don't know when it's gonna be. I've been kind of... I've been playing it a little bit here and there, but it is... I'm kind of bored of uh, Super Auto Pets a little bit. So I realized that we didn't have any uh, stopping me mechanism here. So I think it would be beneficial if we included one. <laughs> we'll use low friction blocks for the whole thing, though, just to make sure, right? Just in case. That's so good, isn't it? You get the new animal? No, I've never, I've never spent any money on Super Auto Pets. I don't know if I ever would, to be honest. You can push E on the lift in survival. It looked like a rocket launcher. Yeah, so guys, we're gonna switch up the build now. We're gonna be building a rocket launcher instead of a crane truck. <laughs> so here's what I want to try with this, though. Uh, this, I'm just hoping maybe will save some of this lag for us. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of these and the bearings and replace them with straight blocks instead. Like that. And so I'm thinking maybe it'll save us a few frames. Maybe it won't, but I have to try, you know? I think I would rather, I'd rather have the FPS than the cool looking, like free floating, uh, outriggers, you know? That's why I'm bored of it? No, that's not why I'm bored of it. I think for me, it's more so just, uh... You know. Watching my little pets go and into battle. There we go. Yeah, I really do hope that this saves some frames. Because, I mean, the boom arm is working, you know? I would say having the extra electric motor hooked up to it, or the extra bearing, is the uh, definite solution for sure. Oh, these are actually all gray. I wonder if I could get away with putting something like this, you know what? Yeah, I think so. Just having them super all sorts of... I'm, like, I love this part so much, I'll put a whole bunch of them together just like this. <laughs> Only played a couple times in a good month. Yeah, that's the same as me, pretty much. It's still a cool game, you know? It's a well-executed game and all that, but... You know. Sometimes you just move on from a game. In real life, there are no frames. Wouldn't the frames of real life kind of be considered the uh, wavelength of light? Visible light, you know? That's kind of how I would look at it. <laughs> and then we'll even add, like, a little detail piece here. This will help make up for the fact that we got rid of the bearings. So it's just gonna look that much cooler. Yo, Shrewtu! Good to see ya! Lego, crane, truck. Save it again. You like the raft mechanic game mode? Yeah, the raft mechanic is so good, isn't it? It's amazing. The weekly packs keep you interested. Yeah, I've seen Northern Lion. That seems like what he does. Dumb lobbies. Yo, Lewis, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. It's a clever way to look at it. You can't click the crane wheel or the arm it's on. Makes sense. <laughs> it kind of is. It'd be the wavelength, though, right? It's, the FPS is the wavelength of light. Yeah, doesn't the human eye see 24 frames? Like, obviously, that's not... It's not like we have shutters in our eyes, but... The, like, the... The brain perceives... The brain processes... 24 frames per second. You're gonna go to bed now? All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good sleep. So let's see what these look like now. So obviously that's not what we want these to look like. 
So you know what? Yeah, I think what we'll end up doing then is just setting all these to 90. It's just going to be a total 90 degree system. Like that, right? So why does it add more lag? It actually adds lag. When we pick this up off the ground like this, it gets laggier. That's not good. It's laggier. Why? 60 FPS human eye. Hey, Prime Guy. What am I going to build next? I don't know. The stream deserves more viewers. I don't know. That's a weird way to look at it. What do you mean deserves, you know? I think I think it deserves as many as many viewers as it gets, doesn't it? Block collision. Well, I think it might be just the weight on the um, the weight that we're applying to the um, uh, bearings. I think is uh, probably a big chunk of what's happening there. I don't think we technically need this counterweight back here anymore. I think we'll just keep it the original design. Anyone who can build something like that. <laughs> hey, Mog Mog. It's doing push-ups. Well, this crane truck needs to hit the gym a little more often. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these blocks here, but what I'll do maybe is just replace it with like a little section like that, you know? Something like this, maybe. With some wedges. Some little wedgies. Why not? And then maybe what I'll do... Oh, you know what? Let's just put wedges across the whole thing. Well, maybe not the bottom here. And then we'll just color match. Extend it like that. And then paint it like this. There we go. It's not bad. Could be a case for a 2x2 two two bearing. Alright, see you later, Adolf. Hey, Fliss, what's going on? The stream deserves whatever it gets. <laughs> now, Moonbow, on the other hand, deserves more viewers. Yo, Sleek, thank you so much for the super chat. And the very kind words. Don't you worry, guys. We've got whatever viewers we've got. So, does this hook... I, I've still never properly tested to see if this hook actually does anything. So, I have an idea, though, on how we might be able to test this. We'll try it out. Yeah, Sleek, thank you so much. <laughs> that one? Oh, that one. And those are all good there. So one way we could test this is with a, uh, a switch here, actually. Let's see, we have this switch. So we can hook these up to that. And so what I want to try here, this is going to be kind of interesting, I think. Oh, wow. It would help if those were actually welded together. So if I drive, I can get this hook to go up underneath. Okay, we need one more. Oh, wow. Crap. Really? Why is this not working again? It is working. Just poorly. Why did that just shoot out like that? What was happening? It doesn't have a hook? Is that right? Hot tub stream to bring the simps out? It doesn't have it, does it? Oh, crap. I think you're on to something. I'm 
I'm trying to, uh... Come on now. There we go. I'm trying to just jam it in there, you know? Yeah, there's no way, right? There's no way it's gonna fit. Can twerk. Oh yeah, I can just drive up against this now. Yeah, so that's not... There is no... So maybe we do have to make our own hook. I think that might be in our best interest, right? Making our own? Why not, right? I think it would be better. Flashing lights? Yeah, we'll get those done too. Yeah, we could definitely have our own... ...simple hook design, right? I think that's a, a basic hook there, isn't it? That's a hook. I'm trying to hook it onto that pipe there. Oh, I have to be quicker than that. That works! That's so good. Isn't that awesome? So we can actually hook it in. Yeah, I like that. So that doesn't have to go down as far now, right? So we could probably get away with maybe two. Nope. I guess three. A working moonbow hook. <laughs> hey, TM. It's going good. Okay, I guess it does actually have to go down as far as we had it, doesn't it? It's gotta go- or no, four. I didn't have it set to four yet. Oh, that is what it was set at. Yeah, that's not even that hard to do. Latching onto it like that. Getting the crane all hooked in. Man, that's so satisfying. Eee, man, okay, I am sorry, but these outriggers are worse than they were before, aren't they? They are literally worse. And I don't think there's anything I can really do about that, is there? I think it's gonna be bad no matter what. Because one thing I might be able to do is, like, fake the contact here, but... I have a feeling it's the bearings, the weight on those bearings, that's the problem, and not, uh, not the surface area. Trademark on it. Redneck, stop spamming, please, for the love of God. Oh, it is better. That is better. Okay, never mind then. It was the surface area, or maybe it was a com it's a combination of both, right? Maybe it's a combination of both. I think that's better. I mean, it's definitely better, isn't it? There's no doubt. It's way better. I feel like I could make these shorter now, but I realize that they can't really be shorter. Unless, oh, I could just stop the rotation sooner. Ooh, what if we did that? I'll start with 75. But yeah, we could just shorten this rotation, and then it will lift the uh, truck up even less, right? Obviously, this might not be enough, but we'll play from it, play with it from there. There we go, that's perfect. Now we just barely leave the ground, which I like. You make fake supports and use the wheels as contact? I could do that, but I mean, this is really not that bad, in my opinion, for frames, you know? 
We've seen worse. We've seen better. Nice beard, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. Whew, I gotta bring the website back up. The Lego website. Lego crane truck. Yeah, we gotta fix the steering now as well. Yeah, that's a good point. We gotta fix the steering. Did I make a license plate? Uh, we had a license plate. I don't know if it's still there or not. It's not there anymore. It's because- I got rid of it because it's not centered. But I guess at the end of the day... If it's centered or not, who cares, right? Just throw something on there. It looks very close to the pick. It really does, doesn't it? I think it's pretty good. I mean, I always try my best with these builds, you know? So the back here... Okay, okay, I see now. So let me see here. Uh, so this would go down. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that's, uh... <laughs> that's not quite what I was planning on doing there, but we'll fix that. Not hard to fix up. I think we're grabbing it right here, are we? Some line there, some line there. Yep, that's good. When I think, what voice do I have? Pretty much my own voice. Actually, no, I sound like Chris Hemsworth in my head. And I also look like him. I succeed more than most. God, man. Selfish chatters, you know? Selfish chatters, man. Sometimes people in the chat just like, Me! 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 Everything's about me! So there's some pipes there. Okay, I see now. So we don't want that there like that. Uh, well, actually, we could probably just have it like this. You got the beard for the role. Yours is Patrick Stewart from Star Trek. Wow, so we really, we really don't need a lot of this here, do we? Sh chop it down like that a little bit more. Do I have something to hang on the hook? No, I don't. I think I do want something, though. Um, like, they have, like, a weighted-looking thing. I think we'll use that. Undo. <laughs> do the exit sign. Trying to add some of the detail on the back here. Uh, we do have to fix the steering, that is true, true. Now I have to rewire the outriggers for the back. So that goes down, this goes that way, that goes down, and that way. Gotta set these back to 75. Where did I get the music from? Uh, so this music that we're listening to is Wolf and Raven right now. I also listen to Monomer. Uh, and I got it by just, I went and reached the artists. I talked to them specifically and asked them uh, if I was allowed to use their music on stream. And they said yes. Uh, obviously more than just because I wanted music, but because I also think it's really good music, right? That's what it comes down to more than anything. It's really good stuff. 
So we'll actually, yeah, we'll paint this yellow, actually, not orange. We'll keep it with the yellow theme here. And we'll just paint all this black. I think I'm going to cover this up so that we're not seeing the inside edge there. See you later, crazy. Might need a ban hammer in chat. I don't like these extra ones in the center here, actually. We'll get rid of those ones. Just like that. So there are lights back here as well. Gotta have them. It looks cool. Hmm, yeah, so we got orange lights. It was orange, red, red, white. Orange, red, red, white. Like so. That looks good. And then from here, I think I'll just connect it like this, maybe. Hey, Jake Lake, welcome back. Yeah, uh, we're gonna start banning people if you got, like... Oh, man. Nothing's more annoying than chat sometimes, let me tell you. Try and talk and have a conversation, and there are people in chat who are just in their own little universe. Spamming. Like that. Go with the light gray there. That looks nice. Still see some blocks in here. There are still normal, unpainted blocks. Uh oh. Where everything's going well. Yeah, it's a good day so far. The build is going really well. Wasn't sure how well it was gonna go, but it's going. It's definitely going. Technically, this should probably be a curved piece, actually. Yo, Tyler! Thank you. Yeah, this is working really well. I'll show you guys in a second here. If you just dropped in, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this crane system is working. It's very cool. Uh, so let's see here. That's looking good. We do have to add the flashing lights as well. Oh, let's do the steering, actually. We gotta fix this steering up. Right? I think it's time to fix the steering. Let's leave it on the lift for now. I can't build outward. That's all right. There we go. Like that. Getting random ideas. I look pale. Am I looking that pale? Well, I'm not that pale. I need to go outside, is that what you're saying? So all of these are to connect when we turn the wheel, right? We're gonna turn and we're gonna make sure everything connects together. There we go. Cancel out the white glare. What do I need to do? What? Gamers do not go outside. <laughs> it looks so cool. 
So far, so good. So let's see here. Oh wow, they actually connected in the center? Wait, what? Did they connect in the center? Oh no, I see, they're just rotating. The wheels are stuck rotating, I see. The wheels are fighting. In the previous one, they didn't connect together? Well, they should, right? Technically. So those are basically touching out there, right? That's basically it. So in this case here, I think we need to drop these down, right? I think these ones are going too far. The interior ones. Why do they make that so hard? Why is there light shining behind me? What? There's no light behind me. What am I testing right now? Uh, right now, I'm just making sure that all of these uh, connect. So that's still too much. Wow. Hey, Gunter. They're still going that far, eh? Now, the back wheels are being hit by the, uh... We are hitting that back fender. We'll bring these down to 10, maybe? Like we were saying, though, yeah, they don't have to properly connect or anything like that. I'd say that getting them closer than anything is better than nothing, obviously, so... I'm not gonna worry too much about it. There, that's pretty good. They're connecting pretty darn close, right? You can use your scroll wheel? Can you really? What? Oh, wow! Would you look at that? I have never done that before in my entire life playing Scrap Mechanic. Not once have I ever done that. <laughs> First time for everything, I guess. So that should be better for steering now. Yeah, that's really good steering now. Look at that. Love it. Looks so cool, doesn't it? Uh, I see some... What looks like blocks missing here? Let's just bring those right in. Alright, Anonymous, see you later. Yeah, I'm- I look a lot more pale because of my studio lighting, probably. You deleted your security camera? What? I fell for a prank? <laughs> Don't worry, I can take a prank. It's just a prank, bro. So let's see now, let's save this before anything else, actually. Lego crane truck. Outriggers are good. Picks us up off the ground. So here we go. We'll check this out. So we're kind of lagging right now, but let's see if we can make this better. Crane arm goes up. Wait, is it not hooked up? It is hooked up. The engine's going. It's not trying, it's not even trying right now. I broke the block.
Oh, I know why. I remember why now. Uh, uh that bearing there. Yeah, <laughs> that one bearing. <laughs> Fire the boom armor. No, we got it. Now we're going to test to make sure it works. You should do the outrigger switch to the crane seat. I mean, it really doesn't matter which seat it's on at the end of the day, right? Because you're going to have to drive it first no matter what. Break that. Lift it up. Can do stuff. And look at that. How cool is this? Okay, let's see if we can go all the way out, though. Yeah, true to. It's the brand new gear and everything. That's like the first thing we did today. There we go. It's stuck in there now. The lock mechanism is working. So you can see we end up just kind of pressing on nothing there. And then we can just use the gear to bring it right back in again. Look at that. Right? How cool is that? I love this. It's so awesome. I can't believe it's working. It's, it's pretty janky looking. Uh-oh, are we stuck out? I might have broken it. <laughs> Retract the boom arm! Paint the blocks behind the cabin? Are there some blocks unpainted? Oh yeah, we'll get there. So I need to make the stopper stop before this point here. So right now, this is a little too far. I think we gotta reel it in a little bit more. It's definitely, uh... Definitely too far extended. This is making my day. Oh god, the bots are here. It's only a matter of time. That's right, YouTube is a very prestigious, respectful content platform, okay? Don't pay any attention to those bots. YouTube is the best. <laughs> I think just doing that should fix that. That should stop it from going that one block too far. Uh, so the outriggers I don't even think are technically necessary. Alright, there we go. It extends up. We can push it out. And let's just make sure this locking mechanism is going to work. Oh, wow. It really tries. Okay, that's better, though. So it's trying. It's slipping. And then we can bring it back in again. Yeah, it's going to try and try and try, but it just will not. And then the gear works again. It won't bow down. Yeah, but I like having the full extension. I don't mind it bowing a little bit, you know? I want that full, full extension. And so this is with the uh, crane arm loose, or the boom is loose. And we are still able to drive pretty decently, honestly. Let's try and get off this platform. So remember, this is with the loose boom arm. Completely loose boom arm inside. And it's not that bad. I mean, yes, it's lagging. I will be the first one to admit that we are dropping frames. But I'll also be the first one to admit that this is so cool. You reported the bots. Real Crane's bow, too. Did I miss your message, Sleek? Well, I hope you have a good night if you're taking off. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. So why can't I turn anymore? Oh, there it goes. It was just stuck.
It's not going out now. It's slipping. So why is it slipping all of a sudden? Is it because we just tried to drive with it or something? What if we lower it? Why is it slipping now? It's like just purely stuck. Like nothing we can do about it. It's probably from driving. Angle? No, I, uh, I broke the block already. This is the same one that we just used. Is it like a painting thing? No. It must be jammed, right? Scrap mechanic physics? Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's just scrap mechanic physics, right? At the end of the day. Like, it's one of those things that's just like, you can't control it. This game hates friction. Like, this game hates friction. Wow, it's really stuck in there. Like, is it a paint thing or not, you know? It is, see? Yeah, this game, man, sometimes, like, just me painting it fixes it, you know? Like, the fact that that is the fix, the hammer is the solution, you know what? A hammer probably would have worked as well. It probably would have worked as well. Yeah, this game does not, like collisions or friction at all. All right, Austin, you take it easy. Naked HD. Get these bots out of here, YouTube. What's going on? See, look at that. It's already stuck again. It's already stuck again. And now it's working again. You know, the fact that that fixes the problem... The fact that this fixes the problem is nuts, isn't it? Like, the fact that... I can paint it once and then that solves the physics issue... Is very concerning because it makes you wonder why it can't resolve itself. You know what I mean? Why can't it fix itself? Why do I have to paint it? You know, why can't it just solve its own physics issue? And simulate painting itself or something, you know? That's what I want to know. That's really what I want to know. Use the hammer. Yeah, Zach, we got some bots here and there. Maybe it's because it's not on even ground. That shouldn't matter, really. I don't think it's the even ground thing. I think it's just some, like, like we were saying, Scrap Mechanic just does not like, uh, it doesn't like collisions. It doesn't like friction. And when you really push the limits on friction and collisions, then, uh, you know, you're bound to get some, some very broken physics. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it just, it stops calculating physics or something. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it, though, honestly. It's not a big deal. Alright, so, let's see now. We gotta finish painting up the parts of it. Whoops. Four billion calculations, one butthead calculation. That's all it takes, right? It's calculating everything, and then it's just like one calculation where it's like, I give up. I'm sorry. I'm stopping for now. If you want any more physics calculations, then you're gonna have to give me a paint sacrifice. I think I would like to have uh, this rounded wedge shape in here, maybe. Like that. That looks pretty nice. 
Well, the paint doesn't look nice, but when you paint it, it looks completely wrong. So we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> looks so wrong. No matching at all. Uh, so we need a light blinking module, right? Something that causes a change. Oh, I know, you gotta like, it's like you have to kick start the hamster wheel again. <laughs> Blue at the rear of the crane. Yeah, we'll get the rest of the painting done, don't worry. Don't you worry, guys. So these lights will blink when, uh... So when the, um... When the, uh... Whatchamacallit, when the outriggers go down... Is when these will work, okay? So let's see if we can get these working here. That's a fast one. This is also a fast one, right? Because we want them blinking fast, but in a sequence, right? One or the other. So we want like a main master light switch on either side here, right? So those will get to the light. And then these both get turned off as well. So these ones, though, are going to be the bouncer, right? These are going to bounce back and forth like that. I don't even... I think I only need the one, don't I? One. Thanks, Anthony. Make orange lights in the crane arm. It's going great, Jake. Thank you. All right. It was nice having you. Wow, you, you're getting... That guy just got, like, triple moderated. <laughs> the, the triple team moderation attack right there. <laughs> well, whoever did it was lucky that it wasn't me. So this is the bouncer, right? This is the one that's going to bounce back and forth. But what we need to do is make it so that... Uh, let's see here. That. That. Uh, let's reset this actually first. Join stream, see spam. <laughs> How's it going, Blue? Wait, are these supposed to be... There it is. Okay, it goes to those ones there. Which means that one goes to here. So those are all running there. Right? So what that means if I... hit one, then the bouncing starts working. If I turn it off again... it's always gonna reset to the right. Okay, that's good. Speedrun ban. Man, these bots. Oh my god. It's funny. I've seen a lot of people ask, like, on, like, YouTube uh, has uh, some, like, actual official YouTube channels for information and stuff like that. And, like, every time they release a, a video on that channel, there's just tons of people in the comments that are like, Hey, when are you going to get rid of all these spam bots, you know? Like, when are you going to get rid of them? When are you going to stop this from happening? They don't answer. They'll never answer. <laughs> so this is the bounce back that we want. So I want this one to be... This is active if any of the link triggers are active? No, we don't want that. So we want this one to come to here. Or we want one extra one there. That goes to there. And then that one. And then this one is active if all of the link triggers are active, right? And then what would happen is this one would go here. And that. And then that one there. And then this one here. Oh no, 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 we don't want that. We just want the the one that's off to go there, right?
There we go. So now it's going to switch back and forth. Uh, we won't probably want it to switch back quicker, though. The bots learned they're coming back with two at a time. <laughs> so if we just do a one second. See, that looks about right, doesn't it? I like that. So maybe we want these to be nice and bright. Strobe lights, seizure warning. Moombo doing logic. Someone pays for it? I'm sure they do. I hope they're getting their money's worth. So when we bring the outriggers in, then the lights will remain off, right? And if we turn the outriggers on, then we get the side-to-side -side blinking action. Look at that. That's beautiful. Only focus on profit? I guess so. So now what we'll do is we'll just cover this up. We're going to hide all of the working parts like so. Paint it black on the inside. Uh, no, we'll go yellow. There it is. So one thing that could be beneficial, I think, here... Can we attach the sides? No, we can't. Okay. I would like to maybe have... Uh, like an extra space here or something, you know? Just to f have it filled in a little bit more? What do you guys think? You think I should fill this in more? I kind of feel like it should be a little more filled in, though. I don't know. That's why I want your guys' opinion. Like, more filled in like that? One for the switch and one for the fast blink? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's okay, though. 0.8 or one second blink speed. That is, it is set to one second. Random stuff. Do I want a dollar? Yeah, I'll take a dollar. Sure. It won't work because of the turning? Oh yeah, you know what? You're probably right. Actually, you're definitely right. We are not going to because of the turning. I thought, I forgot about that. I forgot that the, uh, they're on like the giant axles. That's fine anyway, though. I actually like the, uh, the appearance of that there. So maybe what I could do then is, uh... Maybe what we'll do is just have an extra little pipe thing like this. Right here. Just like that. Just to help fill it in a little bit more, you know? That looks good. So we got to paint up back here now. Uh, what do I do? I think I'm going to go down one block like so. Yeah. Hide a duck. Filling completes it. It does, but I realize that, yeah, you won't be able to turn. <laughs> you won't really be able to turn if you do that, so... Yeah, no, like I said, I would like to have it like that, but... I think it's going to be for the best to not. So maybe I can get away with filling this in like so as well. I'm not sure. I'll have to check to see and make sure the crane arm will be able to go down. Or up, I guess, is the right term. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's no problem with that going up at all. That's perfect. Wish you could build like that. Thanks, Robo. You just got to practice, you know? A little practice makes perfect kind of thing. Now, I think there are some interesting little Lego bits and pieces uh, in a section like that, isn't there? Yeah, so there's like a red lever of sorts. Now, it's not, uh, not going to actually do anything here, but I think I would like to add it anyway. I'm not going to, you know, I was going to put it on a bearing, but I realized that we don't need any more bearings on this build. I think we're bearinged up. 
But at the very least, for uh, visual sake, we will add it though, right? Fill it in above the tires. Where's the fuel tanks? Well, I don't think this Lego build really has any fuel tanks, actually. I'm looking around at it, and it's not really looking... Like there's much of a... fuel tank zone, you know? Uh, this should actually be red down to the bottom there, like that. Fenders? Does the hook attach to the front? It can, yeah. It, the hook will attach to the front here. It's just you have to do it manually. It's kind of funny. But if you lower the crane hook down and then drive forward and then pull it in again, well, you have to kind of time it right. Let's see here. There we go. Once you time it appropriately, though, uh, you can definitely hook the uh, thing right to the front of the truck there like that. I realize as well, we need another switch here uh, for the other set of pistons. It would probably be pretty useful. And for this set, I'll just do like the full length extension maybe, like that. Yeah, it works pretty good. And you can unhook it, obviously. Wait, what am I doing? This switch should technically be attached to this seat here. Right? So that way we can lift the crane arm up and then also extend the uh, the mechanism, right? Hmm. I wonder if we should have the other set as well. Because what would 15 be like on this thing? Doesn't all go, it doesn't go all the way down, but it goes pretty low. It looks good. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is definitely going to go on the workshop. So I think right now we're just locked in, which is fine because we're doing work. So I like having the crane arm be attached to the front, though, which is why we have the controls for that here. And I think I might just keep it that way, honestly. Because that's where we, uh, like, we would press four or two, and then do the, uh... Oh my god, it's resetting itself right now. Let's save it and respawn it. No car turn signal. Top of the shop material! <laughs> oh my god, the fact that it holds the bearing lock like that when you re-split, like, put it on the lift and off the lift again is kind of annoying. Make the front, make, try and make the back and front lights work as real crane lights do? I'm not sure what you mean, like... Like, you think, like, you want me to add brake lights and reverse lights and everything? Is that what you're saying? You want me to add all that? You're glad you were here to see this? I realize as well, actually, we have these still, or not all of them. Whoops. I think I want, um, this pipe system here as well. That'll help fill this in, uh, without covering it all up, which is nice. And we'll do the same back here. Make sure I add a duck. Lago crane truck. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know, I've never really wanted to add the working lights or anything like that, usually. You know, I don't usually add that kind of stuff. But maybe we could get away with adding something. Okay, I'm not going to add more lights.
I don't think I really need that many details. Do the duck. You're, you're asking for too much. What if... Let's see here. Okay, first things first, let's paint this gray, right? There's a certain amount of value here. Uh, that's no space. Oh, there is space there! I wonder if we can cover this up here. Uh, let's try and see. kind of like the best we can do for that. And then that way we can at least paint it black, right? Just to make the inside better. Add working lights for night operations. Well, there are lights, though. There are lights for nighttime operation. Look at this. We got lights. We'll have, like, really bright ones in the middle. And then we'll go to the lighter ones out on the outside, like that. Add a grill so it looks less blank on the front. I mean, I could. I'm trying to keep it, like, similar to the, uh... I'm trying to keep it similar to the Lego build, though. You know? I mean, maybe there's something. Most of these are quite large. The other option would be a duct piece. Whoops. Yeah, I think it looks fine the way it was. I don't think there's a reason to mess with it, honestly. Some work lights to illuminate the area. Uh, yeah, I think this is Lego Technic. I think that's technically what it is. Get it? Technically? There we go. We got a duck. The duck is in the build. We've got a duck! So I think technically these, these little orange things here are supposed to be lights. But we don't really have appropriate lighting for that section there, unfortunately. We don't have the right lights for it. Are you late? This looks pretty good, doesn't it? So this is the block that needs to be deleted in here. I'm gonna paint it like a nice bright blue. So that the instructions will be to go in here and then paint that blue, right? You're gonna have to get in there. Or not paint it blue, delete the blue block, I mean. <laughs> Safety first. Yeah, exactly. The duck is the shift stick now. So not only do we have a duck, but it's a functioning piece of the build. <laughs> oh crap. I, I gotta paint that pipe piece in there, don't I? But it's both of them. Oh, wait, I think that there's room inside from underneath here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Okay, good. <laughs> Trying to make sure we got everything painted here. The tip of the lift arm has caution blocks? Yeah, that's one of the things I meant to add. That's definitely one of the things I wanted to add here. I think we should be able to just add them without breaking anything, right? Let's see here. And they are the red and white. I really do wish we could customize the 
the double colors on this thing, you know? Something like that. Yeah, because red and white would look so good, wouldn't it? We need, like, a modded block for that. A modded caution block would be pretty sweet. I should do the Grave Digger. I already made Grave Digger. I've literally already made that. <laughs> Hero, this is your last warning. You know what? No, never mind. I've already given you a warning. We've given you multiple warnings. But that's enough. I'm sick of reading your chats. I've had enough of it. See you later. Ah, too many warnings given today. Too many warnings. Are the pieces that the lights should be on long pieces? Which lights? Yellow and black make sense. What, you th so you think it'd be better to just have the yellow like that? No, I mean... Yeah, maybe. Change the texture of a block. I mean, at that point, you just build with a different block. <laughs> right? Just build with a different block. Ooh, how about that? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That looks so good. He got excited. They're spamming. They're spamming. Told them multiple times to stop spamming. What do they do? Well, you guessed it. They kept on spamming. That looks so good now. Maybe we could get away with the normal yellow now. You know what? We probably could. I think that looks better now. It's not bad. Yo, Alan, 25 page with a two. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Build looks awesome. Well, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the kind words. Really appreciate it. It's yellow and black in the set. It's yellow and black in the set. Yep. Would you look at that? That's yellow and black. <laughs> or is it? Doesn't really look yellow or black to me. Looks kind of like it's red and white. When people spam, they're doing is asking to be banned from the channel. I mean, I'm try I try and give people warnings, you know? I'm trying to try and be as understanding as possible, you know? The chat is filled with kids that just can't handle being on the internet, you know? And I try my best to be understanding. I really do. What's that hole there? I see some blue. I still see some unpainted stuff. But I think it's on the inside, isn't it? Oh no, it's just right underneath where the engines are. What about the three blocks missing behind the caution block at the tip of the arm? Oh, I can see it. There it is. Oh, I can't paint it though. The pieces on the sides with the orange screws. There's supposed to be a bunch of details and stuff here, but I don't need the functioning parts. Did I see the Lego Optimus Prime set? I have not. We're adults here. Not everybody's an adult. I can confirm that. <laughs> hey, I'm more than happy to have children watching. You know, I try not to swear. Ooh, okay, so there's a bigger bracket system on the top there. Hmm, kind of might like that. Yeah, the gears and stuff like that, there's all sorts of cool gears and stuff, but we're not using that. We're not going to be using the gears here. So what if we just put something like, oh wow, this thing is... It's 
Something like that, maybe even? Just to add some more detail, right? We should act as adults. You can act however you want. Just adds a little something detail, you know. We don't have the gears and stuff like that, so we're not going to really worry about it, but it's still nice to have. That's where the bearings are, is it? Okay, so maybe what we want here is to connect there as well, then. Right? Whoa. Hey, King Raven? Could just use cables. Change the image so we can see what you see. I'm gonna move these lights back here. Just so I can have a, a bit of a space here between the actual lighting and the opening for my character. Make sure I hook that up appropriately. There it is. Perfect. You fix the camera, not the doorbell. <laughs> Yo, Omega. It's going good. Or I say, oh, what's up? Not how's up. Usually what I like to do is add the uh, rounded concave piece here, but I don't know if it's going to let us through anymore. Oh, it does. That's perfect. Yeah, I like to have the... Uh, those pieces there, even though it's kind of... Eh. So I know we we're talking about a grill. Now, I don't think I have what I want for a grill. You know what? No, never mind. This is odd width now. Love the videos, thank you. Hello, attack. So I think that's pretty much it, right? I'm looking at the build here. I'm looking at the Lego set. That's all there. That's all working. Seats are in place. I could add the, like, stanchions or whatever on the inside of the cabin. Right? I could, I should do that, actually. I will do that. That's right there. So that means we want that one to be one over. Just to add a little bit more something something. Put nuts on the tip of the pipes under the fenders. So for these seats, I'm actually going to use uh, the older seat here for the blue, like that. There we go. That looks nice. Now, that's looking good. Why don't I try making Optimus Prime next? <laughs> How about you try and make Optimus Prime? <laughs> so getting out of these seats is fine because it just ejects you here and then you can just walk right out the front windshield. Not a big deal. And getting out of this seat, it puts you into a hole that you can get out of. That brings you right back to here. Now, this is kind of broken here. You get a little stuck, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And then we'll just paint that there like that. Yeah, I don't want to put nuts on the end of this because on the Lego... Like, this is supposed to look more like a Lego opening, so... Challenge accepted. <laughs> you gotta go? Alright, have a good night. Have a good night. So I think, uh... I think I want to add this detail, actually. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. Wow, 
Wow, would you look at that? YouTube, but it's only E. More like YouTube, but you're banned completely. Kids think they're so clever, eh? I swear to God, kids think they are just the most clever, clever person ever, aren't they, right? Some kids. How clever of me, it's YouTube, but it's only the letter E. Kids have too much time on their hands. <laughs> He's got too much time. So we're not going to be able to do the full length like, uh... Like in the picture, but we'll make it work. They're clever at getting banned. Is that even clever? Well, no, they're not. That's why I said they think. They think they're clever. I didn't say they were. <laughs> They've just somehow convinced themselves. So I think this actually wants to be yellow uh, up to here. Here, like that, maybe. I think that's the kind of thing we want to go for there. Is bring the yellow back a little bit. So smart and imaginative. Is that the same? Yes, it is. Perfect. Yeah, this detail is going to help make the crane arm look a lot better as well, I'd say. With a gap of one. Oh, that is not yellow. You never knew they added character customization? And they added that back when they added survival. Like two years ago now or whatever. They've had it for a while now. And then so these get... Whoops. A couple on either side here, like this. And then these are going to be painted blue. Uh, I'm going to go with the same blue as the... Uh, whoops. As the other parts that are blue. It's like... It's it's a little bit deeper of a blue than this, but it's not quite as rich as the other one, you know? So it's not too bad. It looks pretty good there, like that. And I need to put a lever behind the seat as well. not fun for anybody. I mean, at the end of the day, like I've said before, you can do what you want in the chat. <laughs> Just don't be surprised if you get banned. Yeah, we're gonna use another... another lever here. And then that is red along the base, and then just like a nice light gray on the top. So we got our two levers there, which is not too shabby. I think what I'll do here is actually just cover this up like that. Right to the top. Same with on this side here. So this way, uh, inside here... Is just like a little space, you know, for the uh, the whole thing to go down on. Perfect. And I think I will paint this block red in there like that. Just so that way you can delete that one block. Where's the life preserver? Hey, Sven. Is it functional? It certainly is. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Because I think I'm done. I think... Therefore, I am. Uh, one thing I might do, actually, is uh, maybe just get some of these here as well to add some more red. It's really... Like, Lego is beautiful because it has all the color highlights and the tertiary, secondary, all the interesting colors. Wow, I managed to paint that, apparently. Did you have this set? Really? Nice. So yeah, well, let's uh, just get these final little color details here. 
not quite exactly the way the build has it, but uh, I think it's nice to compromise from time to time, right? You have to compromise between the two. Joining in, Moombo's done. Well, we've been working on this for two streams now. This is the second stream. This is the second stream that we've worked on this. Cool fact about this build, by the way, hey? And hey, Johnny, how's it going? So a cool fact about this build... I'm not... I, I don't have it done, obviously, but... In the build... Uh, I'll even bring the picture up a little bit here. So you see the lights there? So these lights here... This light right here, the one I just painted red... So that light... In the build there, you can see there's a light there. there there's one on both sides. Those lights are the thing that you steer the wheels with. You're gonna head out? All right, Zach, see you later. Yeah, it's really cool. That's what steers the entire thing, is the, the emergency lighting. Johnny, it's going good. The people with blue arrows, are they your mods? Uh, they have a blue wrench. They got a wrench. Unless, oh, I see what you mean. You're talking about the channel members. Yeah, those are channel members. Yeah, Big Brown Fox, I've thought about doing that before, but there's a lot of extra steps that would be wasted anyway. And there's a lot of, like, like the laws of scrap mechanic won't let you do something like that necessarily. Just because of scaling. All right, so let's take a look at the Lego crane truck. All right, look at this bad boy. It looks so good. I'm always so picky about how where the thumbnail should be. It's very annoying. There we go, that looks pretty good. Where is the duck? Well, Austin, if you were paying attention, you would have noticed there's a duck right here inside the cab. All right, so obviously we got four or eight wheel steering, I mean. Eight wheel steering. Uh, let's see, we can lower this down. So you can lower this down and with a little bit of finesse, you can, uh, you can hook it in. Now it's kind of, it can be difficult. There we go. So you can hook the crane in if you want to and secure the load like that. Which is very nice, right? Uh, we can undo that, though. Let's undo it. And so now what we can do is put the outriggers. We've got our emergency blinking lights. And the outriggers will bring us some stability here, like so, and get the wheels off the ground. Piston duck. So the outriggers are there, everything's good to go. Uh, so now this is where the magic happens in this build. You have to get up into the seat here and go back here and notice this red block inside, right? So that red block there, you delete it and that makes the entire boom completely free. Which means, now we are lagging a little bit, but that's not a big deal. We raise it up like so. And check this out. So we can even get a really good view of this gear system here. Uh, so the gear system is the thing that's actually moving the entire boom out of the crane arm, right? So it's using the gears, pushing and pushing until it gets all the way to the end. That's like the bitter end right there. And that stops it from falling out. And look at that. We've got ourselves a fully extended boom. And obviously we can do the opposite, we can retract the whole thing, like so. And then bring the boom back in. Beautiful stuff. How detailed do you want Optimus to bring? That's up to you, Gamers Attic. <laughs> so that's working really well. It does have to get painted from time to time because Scrap Mechanica hates collisions, we all know that. And so you can use... the turning... I should use... Oh, no, wait, that's right. We have to use turning for this. So you can use the turning. You just have to be very gentle with it, right? 
wonderful gears. A rope block? Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. So as long as you're gentle with the steering, because it is quite powerful, but if you just kind of tap it and take your time with it, then it's not so bad, right? Uh, and it does have a limited range just for the uh, sake of how fast we rotate. And so now you can see, okay, so now it's getting stuck. So if it does ever get stuck, if you download this, uh, you just have to give it a paint like that, and then it works again. And it fixes the lag as well. It fixes everything. Clicking something with paint once fixes everything. This crane is so legit. <laughs> and I never did hook up four, apparently. So that's not bad. Oh, whoops. Wait, what? Wait, was it already done? Hey, Eric, good to see you. Oh, that's right, Lars. That's why it wasn't working. Hmm, good point, good point. I guess there's really not much I can do about that, is there? You lose the ability to use the pistons on the hook arm. There's not really much I can do about that, is there? I mean, at the end of the day, I guess that's just... What am I supposed to do about that? There's not really much I can do about that. You can't control the hook anymore once you disconnect the whole thing. It w I would need to have a wireless... Yeah. It would have to be a wireless system, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that, though, honestly. I think, um... I think I'm still happy with it, you know? So I guess the trick would be to make sure you pick up the stuff first. Sensor stuff? Oh, yeah, we could use sensors! piston instead of removing the block. No, I am not using pistons. The whole point of this build was to have a cool gear mechanism and it's working. It works no problem whatsoever. So yeah, we could do a, a sensor system or something like that, right? Your suspension idea was good. I don't think we want all that suspension. I don't know if it would be good. But we could do sensors. Nice work. Any idea for the next project? Smile. Yo, Eric with the big fitty bomb. I don't know why that played the normal sound effect. That's a no joke donation. Uh, thank you so much. Any idea for the next project? I don't know yet. It's gonna be, I guess the next one will be some type of Lego build, right? And we will have to uh, come up with something. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions though, right? Always open to suggestions. Uh, so you can always leave them for me in the Discord. But Eric, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate that. Much appreciated, man. So. I don't know how a sensor system is going to work, honestly. Lego tank. An excavator. I might- we might have to cut our losses here. Do the Jeep Wrangler. Sap. We talked about Sap already. I'm kind of- I'm bored of Super Auto Pets. I can't play for more than like 20 minutes at a time now. Ne Lego Saturn V? No. I don't want to do spaceships anymore. Man. It sucks that we can't use it. Hmm. So, one solution 
One solution could be that there's two different spots to use it. You can only- maybe we could make it so that you can only use these when it's either fully retracted or fully extended. The reference in raft mechanic? Yeah, that was so nice of them. <laughs> Very nice of them. Equals 326. Oh, maybe that's why. Sometimes- YouTube doesn't convert on the fly, so that's probably why. <laughs> Does the wireless connection trick still work? I don't think so. I don't- I, I think the wireless connection glitch is much more convoluted now, I'm pretty sure, right? It's a great idea. Don't encourage that kind of behavior. <laughs> do a robot? I've been kind of wanting to do another mech again, but, meh, I made quite a few mechs in my day. It gets boring. Yeah, I mean, the game is just kind of, you know, whatever. So, if I were to do this, the piston, the sensor system... So, here's what I'm thinking. Because we could have it, right? Where... So, this is fully retracted, right? At the very least, having it work like this, maybe, could be nice, right? I guess I need a piston. Well, that is not my lift. Use the remote controls in one of the mod packs? Yeah, I could. I like this solution as well, though. I like creative solutions, you know? That's part of the fun in Scrap Mechanic, is coming up with solutions to problems, you know? And sometimes that solution is redefining the game entirely. <laughs> so I could have one on either side here, and then a block here and a block there, right? Let's paint it all yellow. So those will stay functioning, we know that much. And I think I want... Okay, hold on, actually. What do we have here? Let's just clear these out. So it's both of these here. We don't want them anymore. We're gonna get rid of those, okay. Color sensor would work better. If you play for hours every day, then yeah, you're gonna get bored. A Lego helicopter. 90s Lego spaceships. Are you talking about those, the white ones with, like, the green lasers and stuff? <laughs> Glad you could help. Uh, whoops. So that should be higher up. Because what I'm thinking is... Sensor here. Whoops. Higher than that. Wait, so we can, yeah, we can definitely have this set to color mode anyway, just for yellow, right? Color mode on, set to yellow, and there's a button mode, right? So then these would just get sent to that one. And I think this is actually the switch that, okay, so we do want one of these switches here. Plug that in there, and then two goes there, right? And onto that one. There we go. So that works for that one. That's beautiful. Right? So that one's working. Now, this only works, though, when it's uh, as close to you as possible, right? Because... Now, I suppose, actually, we could go all the way to 20. I don't think that's gonna reach, obviously, but... A robot would be cool. Anything from the 90s? Well, I realize now I don't want to break this because that means I would have to re-save everything again. 
Hmm, what can we do here? Put that like that. Max range. Well, the max range is not going to be long enough anyway, though, right? That's why I'm not too worried about it. The thing for me is this, this, the next set. The next set of pistons is going to be the thing that I'm having a hard time with. Uh, now, the reason why we have it the way it is, though... Uh, I guess, no, we can't go fast. We'll just keep it slow. Because I want to be able to, no matter what, like, I want to be able to go up like this and, uh... Okay, it's a lot harder with the delay now. There we go. I want to be able to do that no matter what. Even if the boom is completely freed, right? Wow, it really doesn't like that. That gets pretty laggy. Eighties versions of the Lego trains. Do I like challenges? Twin rotor helicopter. Hmm. I do have an idea. Oh my god, am I stuck? I have an idea. What if we try this? Oh no, wait, I won't be able to. Because I was thinking maybe I could have another block like this, right? So if we do something like that... Build a transforming house. Lego trash truck. A Chinook. I'm kind of over making Chinooks. <laughs> okay, we definitely want these to be the same height. Twenty color mode set to yellow again. Something like that, right? So these two will get sent over here somewhere. So four will prop it up in case so this is just in case the boom arm is nice and close or whatever. We can press four, it goes up, and then we'll add one more switch here. We'll stick it right there. Uh, I'll put it on the inside here, actually. Did I just... Okay, I thought I just broke something. And then that goes there. So then five will extend that one, right? And that one's gonna go by 15. So we got the range of 20 plus 15, that's 35. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not, but we'll try it out here. Let's see what it does. Not tow truck, Lego crane truck. You have this set? Use a locking mechanism? Okay. Whoops, I didn't even finish making this work. <laughs> Uh, those go to that, and then so those are the 15 set, and then those are the 4 set. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Lego crane truck. Okay. So. So if we press 5... No, we don't want five. We want... So four will extend that, and that's the long... That's the full extension, which obviously we don't want to do. Uh, but that's working, though. So the question is, are we going to be able to use it from the distance? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Break the block. And why don't we just lift up the boom arm? Why not, right? Why not? So from here... Okay, we're lagging a lot right now. Can I just paint this, maybe? So there we go. So now it's disconnected, but we're still using the functionality on this seat, which is beautiful. And now this one here. Let's extend this out. 
So what we can do actually is see how far we can go. We press four and now it's still working, right? Now, if we extend out though, it doesn't, oh, oh wait. Is that, okay, you know what, that's good. So if we go extend it out, let's just see how far this goes now. Because it works. It's just not going to work with one piston. It will work, though, obviously, when we bring it close enough to that piston. Right? And then it does actually extend the, uh, the crane hook. Which is really cool, though. It's definitely working, right? Definitely working. Have I heard of Hot Wheels? Who hasn't? And Olivier, how's it going? Good to see you. Model 6981. I don't... I don't know the model numbers. You can't just say a bunch of numbers to me. I don't know. So that was working pretty good. The question is, do we want another piston? Maybe that's what we want, right? Another piston like this? Because ideally for me, it will work when it's fully extended, right? So if we go yellow, and then we just paint that all black like so. Right? Paint that one black. I think this should be good. You can Google it. I know, but I'm not gonna Google it right now. The delivery driver bought the wrong food for dinner. That happens to us sometimes. We'll order food in, and then they'll get here, and it'll be like it's the most regretful decision ever. Name every brick in this set. <laughs> Moombo's not a real Lego fan. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do it like that. I think I'm just going to have it so that when it's fully extended, well, hopefully anyway, when it's fully extended, it'll work. And when it's not, then it's okay. Yeah, it'll work anyway. Don't expect me to do it right now. Hey, Blackbird! Man, I am like just barely unable to get out of there. So let's try this out. Let's see here. So four is going to make it work, right? Oh, four is doing both of them. I guess that works. So now if I extend this all the way out, it won't work anymore. Now that's fully extended, so let's go even further with the, uh, piston. Is that gonna be enough? Holy crap. Okay, so maybe, you know what, we will add a limit on the, uh... I think I will add a, a harder limit on this boom, so that it doesn't go as far. Did you get here late? A little bit. You and me are very different. You can do this in two sessions. I build something smaller in three weeks. <laughs> Let's just say I have a stupid amount of hours in this game. So yeah, what I'm thinking here is we will add a hard limit, right? We want a limit on this thing. So I think we might be able to get away with uh, maybe going like a full length, like a full. So that's a full length there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go with eight. Right? Whoops. I'm thinking we go with eight and we'll start with that. We'll give it a save and see how that does. Oh my god, please. Let me back up. Right there, right? That's another eight. Okay, so that's eight. And 
do that. Paint it black. And we'll save it. So I'm hoping this will be enough to make it so that they just always work, right? All of the piston and sensor systems just work every single time. Uh, we are loose now, okay. The one thing I need to do, though... Ah, uh, we'll just leave it on the one set, actually. Why not? That's okay. Having the boom mechanical came with a price? Don't you worry, Lars. We wrote that check. <laughs> we wrote that check and they cashed it in. I'm paying the price right now. In my opinion, totally worth it. So now let's just fully extend this. And it stops there. And now the question is... Is that gonna be enough? Looking fine so far, it's doing pretty good. Did we get it enough? There we go! So now... We can still use... The, uh, the crane piston system. That was fun to say. Uh, we can still use it while it's totally separated. These bots, I'm telling you. Never a dull moment. So obviously this thing is a lag monster. Uh, if you don't have a decent computer, then I don't suggest you use this. See, this is so annoying. So it's not working, right? But watch this. I paint, I click something, paint it once, and look at this. Now it's working again. I think that's something they'll never fix in this game, is it? They'll never fix that. It seems like it would be a simple fix, though, because if painting something once fixes it, you would think it would be an easy fix, right? It's very hard to do. There we go. And then we can get the whole thing loaded up. That This looks pretty sweet. Paint magic. They like scrap mechanic. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I guess we are just the best stream. <laughs> oh my god, they're just flying in. Yeah, I don't think I don't think YouTube is ever gonna get rid of those bots, man. I don't. I bet you they don't know how. That's my. I bet you that's what they. They don't know how the hell they're gonna get rid of these bots, and they're not going to. Double jittering piston. I thought about that blue flame, but I prefer this personally. I prefer this method, and look how good the frames are right now. The frames come and go. You know, they definitely come and go. Why can you see through the blocks? Why do these... I feel like they made them, uh... Did they make these mesh blocks, like, slightly too big or something? It is, right? Is that just me or what? You can actually see them a different size, right? Is that just me or what? You guys are seeing this. The model... The model is a little bit bigger. It, there, it sticks out a little bit. Isn't there a hook you could use? The hook doesn't actually work, though. It doesn't have a concave mesh, unfortunately. I think concave meshes are pretty heavy. A ready to go hook? Yeah, no, there are actual hooks, but like I said, there's no, uh... It would just be visual. Human verification. Alright, so I guess we'll just add this to the, uh, workshop, right? I think everything is pretty good. It is laggy, but that's okay, you know? Just be... Just... Buyer beware. 
Buyer beware. That's all I can say to you. If you download this thing, it is at your own risk. Why is it so hard to get a decent thumbnail? It's so hard to get a thumbnail centered and looking good. Normal map thing? You think it's a normal map thing? I don't know. It wouldn't make sense if it was a normal map if I could see it from the other side of a mesh though, right? Another thing we want to kill. A much simpler idea. I mean, it works. Looking damn fine. <laughs> so there is a mod, though. I got to make sure I add the appropriate mod here. Just to be annoying. Yeah, that's what we want. We want more annoying things in chat. That's exactly what we want around here. <laughs> The chat's not annoying enough as it is, right? <laughs> you know, if you guys have to leave and come back, you don't have to say that every time. You don't. You guys don't have to say, Hey, Moomo, we'll be right back. And then five minutes later, be like, All right, I'm back. I, we will survive without you for a few minutes, okay? It's fine. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Simple as that. Mm-hmm. All right, it's on the workshop, baby. <laughs> so, uh, be right back, Moomo. I gotta sneeze real fast and then blow my nose. Be right back. Be right back. I mean, now we have to... I want to take a picture of this and put it on Twitter. Am I right? We gotta put this bad boy on Twitter. The happiest place on the internet. <laughs> oh wow, I can't even fit this all on the screen anymore. Driving with the crane extended is not safe. <laughs> Done sneezing. Check members chat on Discord. Just gotta bring it back here into the sun. Get the good lighting, you know? Lighting is half the battle in this game, I gotta say. Lighting is what you want to do to make it look good. Ooh, that's a nice little a angle here, isn't it? Like the downward angle past the platform. Look at that ground level view. Nice. All right, I'm going to tweet that out later. I have to crop it. A cool fishing boat of some sort? I wouldn't... You know what? A boat is not a bad idea. Haven't made a boat in a while. Haven't made a boat in Scrap Mechanic in a little while, so that'd be fun. How's the wheel rotation all still aligned? I had to redo it, actually, but they are... They're aligned enough, you know? They're aligned enough that they're working really well. Uh, I got them within, like, a three-block margin, which I think was good enough, personally, so... I guess it's easier to take a picture here, isn't it? Instead of in the driver's seat. <laughs> there we go. This is a much nicer picture. Look at that. There we go. That's a good screenshot. Ooh, baby, that's some scrap mechanic right there. Well, that was fun. That's all done now. Then sync it accurately. Well, that stream was longer than I anticipated, but that's okay, not a biggie. I had fun. I'm glad we are done with the build. And that is going to be a stream for me today.
So guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Really appreciate the support and the love. You wonder what's next? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll probably play some raft mechanic tomorrow, though. We got to catch up some more. My pleasure. My pleasure. But yeah, I think maybe some raft mechanic. It was a long stream. It was a long stream, but hey. It was worth it. Because we're done with the Lego crane truck now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with some raft mechanic. We will keep that world going. And uh, yeah, if I don't see you tomorrow, though, I'm sure I will see you on a separate date. I earned my spam. <laughs> 24 hour stream when? I value my health personally, so. Maybe never. <laughs> Maybe never. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, guys. You all take it easy. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. Exclamation point Discord. Don't forget to drop a like on the stream. 48, yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I will see you guys later, all right? So take care. Lots of love. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye.